my little munchkins. I think uh, oh, we lost Vincent because Vincent was not on the team. He's he's uh -oh. at least joined twice. So oh, um, yeah. so when he joins, we should all say, "Hey, Vincent, you're being recorded." Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> If he gets here, I haven't actually seen this, or did I see his face? I can't quite remember now. <gasps> All blur. Okay, well he'll he'll show up when he shows up. Maybe he's going to restart. Maybe he's having problems. And he, and he would be in our team then. Vincent's on team five. Yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll, we'll just have to go with that second name then, ladies. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So Bill, Gail, Janine, and Carl. What is your team name tonight? Um, our team name is. But he didn't even address the sharks and batteries. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, did you hear about that guy who 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 was hired? He was an influencer in, in Washington, DC. And he was he did a they asked him to do an intro to the to to the uh, uh NATO thing and he didn't know anything about it. He thought it was Shark NATO. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I heard that. I heard that they were talking about. I don't know how, much, I don't know, but it made me just like, oh, that's why Trump hates NATO. He thinks it's shark. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's next week's <laughs> team name. Okay, Ben, Cindy, Karen, and Rob. Uh, we have a shout out to Mr. Edward. Get well, Mark. Aww. 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 Oh, now I'm gonna have to root for your team. Okay. <clears throat> Look at the people sucking up for points. I, I know, for real. So you, you should know where your bread is buttered on over there. You could put a multiplier in that uh, in that spreadsheet, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. What happened to the color? I'm sure Rob could show you how to do that. <laughs> Only if you use Terrence Howard's math, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Did you guys see Coleman's latest? Oh, freaking God, it was good. Oh, my God. God, even he, he did it, put it out last night, yesterday. Oh, oh, I'll have to look. You'll know it's the right one because it starts out with Coleman laying on his back on his desk with, with alcohol all over the desk. And then he turns around, and he rolls off the desk. <laughs> so, <laughs> so funny. I think I'm going to watch it again. It was so funny. Okay. Alan, Faith, and Romero, and Jamie. Mexico sends its criminals to the U.S. U.S. sends its criminals to the Supreme Court. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Very good. Oh, very, very, good. Very, good. very good. Okay. Shout out to AOC for filing those. Um, I know. Cards. Yeah. But I don't think yeah. it's going to do anything. But... It won't, but uh, shout out to her anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, for reals. Okay. Jane, Kevin, Ron, and Deborah. We don't need more time. We sentenced Trump to go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. <laughs> not a little bit prejudiced against him, are we, at all? Man? Not at all. No. I don't think so. Okay. Today I wouldn't call that prejudice. Today. today was the day that they, they postponed it. Yep. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's today right. would have been the be day. Today. So that means the Republicans. We were supposed to wear orange. That's right. I, well, that's I wasn't. Right. Really... He's supposed to wear orange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, Carolyn, Kat, Wendy, Vincent, and Adrian. And Vincent, it's not here yet. Oh. <laughs> Say it, Kat. Here, four hot women? I may be Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I guess I can't put anybody else on your team. Here comes Vincent. Okay, hold on. Wait till of here. course you can put more people on our team. They just have to be hot women. <laughs> but it can be five hot women. Or named Vincent. And, and six, <laughs> that's right. or maybe vincent vincent you there vincent i see his name but not his face i don't know if he can hear us more importantly his audio apparently isn't working because i'm sure he's saying something and it's not coming vincent and should, in case he can hear us we should all let him know that hey, we vincent. are being he's recorded, recorded. <laughs> Vincent, are you there? We'll get a laugh out of that, whether he can get here or not. I know, not. it's funny. Adrian, you can text him and just at least that's, see. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to text him right he now. Hear us. He's connecting to audio. He's oh, yeah, there it is. In. Okay, so it says he's muted. One thing at a time. Get the play-by-play -play of Vincent joining the team. For the <laughs> it's <laughs> gripping. It's so exciting over here. 
Okay, so to the talk of the different, let me do the team names. Okay, so tonight we have game 223, season five, because we have finished four years at July 11th, 2024, in the year of our Lord, 2024. There's Vincent. Vincent. Yes. Guess what? Hey, Vincent. This meeting's being recorded. Being recorded, Vincent. Yes, it is. <laughs> I am having major issues with Zoom. Like oh, fine. Big. Now it's working. It is not working. Now it's working. It's fine now. Well, now it's we working can, now. We can see you. But... I can hear you and I can see you. That's all I care about. I don't care if the I... buttons are in the right place. You're fine. Yeah. They've, well, up, they've done some updates lately. And yeah, I like it. Yeah, nice. yeah, I have, yeah. I bet you we have new I bet we have new um things. I'll have to take it. I'll have to take a look. Okay. So in this game, 223, which we will never have again. It is five teams vying for the championship. And we have, but he didn't address the sh sharks and batteries <laughs> versus get well, Mark versus Mexico sends its criminals to the U S the U S sends its criminals to the Supreme court <laughs> versus we don't need more time. We sentenced Trump to go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200 versus four hot women. And maybe Vincent. <laughs> No, he can move. I think he's moving. Okay, so he's, he's just not impressed with that team name, even yeah. though he's not out in it. Apparently not. Okay. It's his team, like that so team name. I think you should move him to our team. Oh, <laughs> you want him now, huh? Okay, we so here people. we are. We need all the help we can get. Here's the people who are going to be running the game tonight. We have leading off. We have. Gail, no. Deneen, no, no. Who is it? Let me look. I oh. should actually look. It is Carl, followed yep. by Rob. You know how I knew it was Carl? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the way we all did. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't think, I, don't have to say. I don't have to say. You guys know but... each other way too well. This is just too <laughs> funny. Okay. Uh, Rob, <laughs> we know yeah. this is going to say we're recording, and we know Carl's going to do a category. When he turns his face to the camera and goes like this, <laughs> uh, followed by Jamie, followed by Kevin, followed by Kat. Carl's got a poker face. Always. Susan, yeah. I don't have powers. Oh, I'm oh, thinking this. Carl's oh. category is going to be Canadian Tire because all those things in the background are you can buy in Canadian Tire. <laughs> hey, did sure. you guys see that plane today? That a, was American a real Airlines film? You can buy a real off? film? In I wouldn't be surprised. And it's, I think and it's, on, it's, it's, it's on the Cone Brothers. It. I think it's too <laughs> hot. Another problem with climate change. We have too hot weather. Planes can't take off or on. It's too hard on the on the tires and it's too hard on the on the, on the runway. Anyway. Yeah, so now it's like the same planes these days. We don't Not have just... climate change. I'm living in Las Vegas at mm. uh, at seven o'clock at night, and it's 108 degrees, which is uh, way down. Uh, it went up to 120 a couple of days ago. The, the uh, Garden State, the Garden State Parkway near me last week buckled. Three feet, <gasps> it popped up in the air, and they had to close the whole Garden State Parkway. Major, oh my god, major throughway. Oh my god. And so well, it's only all come and visit right now. It's what, Carolyn? It's only 106 in Luna right now. Oh my goodness. Oh we should all come here and we could just have everybody come to, to Salinas, California, Monterey area, and we could just have, do trivia live. You know, I think it'd be great. If you're headed that direction, avoid Sacramento. It's 111 here right now. Oh, oh my geez. God, that's nasty. Why do people yeah. like summer? <laughs> I, I, I love summer. Anywhere but Sacramento. Hat. I loved your post, Kat. That was so funny. It's 69 here. Karen and I live in a beautiful bathing of wonderfulness on our on our block. Everybody needs to come and buy a house on my block. Buy my yeah, I can't afford a house on that block. You got a million yeah. dollars, Susan, because that's well, how you, much it's going to cost. You could put a few like, of you guys in it. Two or three. But and you wouldn't have I mean, to do, you don't have to have air and you don't have to have heating. Yeah, I'll take 67 at my house. It was 86 today with like 74% humidity. Dew point was around the same. And I went outside and I ran and it actually was glorious compared to yesterday when it was a 105 when I did my speed workout yes. at 6 uh, o'clock. I'm having a mountains bar and I'm having a red vine. So there. Okay, so we're ready to go. Carl, you have your powers. Give it to it. Give it, give it to us. 
Sock it to us. Sock it to us. Plot holes in fundamentally flawed films, volume one. Oh, Lord. Oh. Means we're getting volume two no matter what. <laughs> uh, there's at least a volume two. Mm -hmm. All right. So I will give mm. a description and you name the movie. And I don't know if these are too hard or too easy. Uh, if I were to make them easier, I would probably add years for all the movies, but I didn't have much time to decide whether or not they're too hard. So they are what they are. Difficult. Well. Number one. In this movie about an undetectable naval vessel, a single sailor figures out how to detect and track the undetectable vessel 45 <sighs> minutes into the two hour and 15 minute movie. It was only on this uh, sub that long. Number two. In this movie, the antagonist is a financier who has been committing financial crimes for years, but officials have never been able to get anything on him because he is just too careful and smart to get caught. This man is convinced to bring the film's protagonist into his schemes, and the protagonist almost immediately draws the attention of law enforcement, eventually gets arrested, and finally turns state's evidence, leading to the arrest and imprisonment of the supposedly untouchable antagonist. Trump, 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 oh. <laughs> Are you sure that's fiction? Uh, well, it, it may be both. Number three, in this movie, an alien race capable of interstellar travel for whom contact with a particular substance is deadly travels to a planet that is 71% covered by the substance and where this substance routinely falls from the sky. Cats. And dogs. Number four. How did the protagonist crawl through the opening and reattach the poster from the outside to cover the hole? Oh! I know one. Number five. He was hanging on to a tether and insisted she cut him loose to save herself. This is complete nonsense as there is no physical force pulling him away. With a slight tug on the tether towards her, he would have floated over to her. Number six, if they have a form of fusion power, why do they need the humans? <laughs> Cows. Number seven, why didn't the identifying MacGuffin item revert to its original form when the clock struck 12? Number eight. In this movie, the supposed protagonist wins a sporting competition with an illegal move. Number nine. Scientist that is supposedly the only person that can complete a deadly project continues on the job because he believes that if he doesn't do it, the bad guys will find someone else who will. Mm. And number 10, I had to provide a year to make number 10 a little more specific because otherwise it would apply to dozens maybe hundreds of movies <laughs> isn't it a dead giveaway that you're on earth that there's one g of gravity one atmosphere of breathable air a single large moon extremely familiar constellations in the night sky typical earth flora and fauna and everything that talks speaks english from 1968 ah. all right go forth and break out <laughs> Hello, my team. Hello. Hey. I didn't have to get hey. muted when I walked in the room. That's interesting. Oh, that's maybe weird. That's a, maybe that's a new um well when I leave, maybe it'll be muted. Oh, this looks like fun. The last one is Planet of the Apes. You're not supposed to start with the last one. You're supposed to start with the first one, Bill. That's the first one. It's the one that's still on my mind. Well, too bad. So sad. Start at the beginning. <laughs> Work our way I through. I don't have the list in front of me. You'll remember it whenever you got to it. Okay. Who's in charge? Nobody. Yeah. We don't, we don't do it that way. Okay. Yeah, we don't Why do don't it that help? way. Here comes Vincent again. Let me add him to his room. So, first one, undetectable uh, naval vessel, single sailor. After Red out. October. Oh, okay. I was wondering if that would be it. Green. I finally got my son back. 
Okay, number two. Do you have one already? Uh, Hunt for Red October for number one. Okay. Number two in this movie. Could this be Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? Who was? No. What was two again, Susan? Wait, I I, I was guessing and I, I don't have That's it. That's a financier. And uh, I'm thinking I know what the movie is, but I can't remember the name of it. Can you give us a character uh, or something? It, it takes place on Wall Street. There, there's something of Wall Street. Wolf of R Wall Street. Oh, the somebody of Wall, the something of Wall Street. Yeah, uh, I never saw it, but I do remember the title. The. I think it's Wolf, but I'm not positive about that. I I think that's as good as anything, gal. The Wolf of Wall Street. Okay, so now in this number three, in this movie, an alien race capable of interstellar travel. Okay, so travels to a planet that's covered with the substance and where the substance routinely falls from the air. Superman. What he, what is he what is it? Kryptonite? Yeah. yeah. Superman like water. the first one? Um, we're on three. Yeah, I'm on three. Superman, the first Superman. There are lots of Superman. I think it's the first one, but it's so uh, what it's falls amazing. from the sky. It's rain, huh? water falls from the sky. So, kryptonite falls from the sky. Is kryptonite just it's just a made up term though? It's what's left over from the planet Krypton when it exploded. Oh, I get it. okay. Superman then. <sighs> Okay, how? Okay, number four. I know that one. Does anybody else know it? It's um, a Shawshank Redemption. Yep, and I only saw it once. That was the only. I never have to watch it again. I've watched Shawshank. it a few times. I like it. Shawshank. What is it? What's the rest Redemption. of the name? Redemption. Shawshank Redemption. Redemption. Yeah, I've never seen it. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. It's a, it's a wonderful movie, but it is um, depressing. No, well, in parts, but it's it's like um, it's a prison movie, and it's it's got a really. I mean, it's an excellent movie, but I, I just it's too too dark in places for me to watch. Yeah, it I don't now watch that I know what happened and everything. Okay, so five must be that one that um, Neil deGrasse Tyson hated, uh, the one where they had the woman. She's out there floating. Uh, yeah, Sandra Bullock. And it was called. Uh, oh, I know what movie you're talking about. I didn't. About. I'm going to issue a clarification here on number nine, because uh, there seems to be a little bit of confusion that I realized was unfair to people. So, make this the authoritative question for number nine, and not the one in, earlier in the text. Okay. What, oh, what, so you what, rewrote what, number nine. That's the the, the, the the difference is I added the only person that can complete a deadly project. For the bad guys continues on the job because he feel, feels the bad guys will find someone else who will. I wanted to make that clear. For the bad guy? Yeah. So he, he is already working for the bad guys. He's not worried that somebody else will do it if, for a different group of people. He's working for the bad guys and figures if he doesn't do it, the bad guys will find somebody else who will. All right. That doesn't that make not sense. give any help to you, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> um okay so he, what was it was i thought it was a one word name on five is it titanic no no it's no. a space movie it's a space movie oh, it's a space but you're on the right idea that 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 didn't make any sense um it's called I've heard of it, and I've I've seen the pictures. I don't know that I've ever heard the name of the movie. I definitely have never seen it. Yeah, I've never seen it. It was called Gravity. Was it that? 
That that's what I that's what comes to my mind. Yeah, I'm yeah, putting gravity in it. unless we come up with something better. That could be it. That could be it. it just seems like a pretty bland. Name. It was a bland, and it was, and it and it belongs in this list. <laughs> <laughs> And and all I can remember about it is that uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson got upset about it. Yep. Okay, so all right, number six. If they have a form of fusion power, why do they need the humans? Isn't that kind of a little too... Oh, Matrix? Because they why be. keep they they treated humans as batteries but if they have fusion why do they need batteries something like it? that fine with me i don't know <laughs> i only saw it once and i didn't like it i thought it was so stupid okay why didn't the identifying MacGuffin item refer to its original form in the clock struck 12 could that revert, be revert to its original oh. form could that be um the uh the time travel one um with the delorean um back to the future back to the future and it was a photograph i don't know i only saw that movie i think once could it be it and it's um... all i could think of when i saw that was cinderella i'm sure that's not it <laughs> Ooh. Okay. In this movie, a sporting competition with an illegal move. Could that be that chess game that the chess? No, no. It's, um... Gail, there's an extra eight on number eight. Yeah, doesn't matter. Not that it really matters, but, you know, as people who get weird about things like that. <laughs> I have to say something at least. Karate Kid. Computer was putting it in. Karate oh Kid. God, That's why there's two of them. Karate Kid? Yeah. The uh, winning move that he did where he's standing on one leg and kicks the guy in the face is illegal. I never heard oh. of it. I mean, I, I never didn't know it. that was illegal, so I didn't would never have known that. And I've seen that movie. I've, I've not seen it. Okay, so number nine didn't make any more sense when he explained it. No. Okay, scientists... The only person yeah, supposedly the thing. only person that can complete a deadly project for the bad guys continues on the job because he believes that if he doesn't do it, some other bad guy would do it for the bad guys. Even though he's the only guy. It'd be, even though he's the only guy who... So... Uh, despicable me. No, um, could it be not Dr. Strange Love? This is a Okay, you keep thinking of that, Bill. Let's go to 10. Isn't it a dead giveaway that you're on? We have that one, Planet of the Apes. Oh, yeah. Planet of the Apes, the first one. We already have it. Planet of the Apes? Yeah. Yep. Who's like... Oh, yeah, I guess that would make sense. It's also Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but one of the one of the later books. But so I don't think there's a movie made out of it. Okay, so yeah, nine? That, that is Planet of the Apes. Yeah, but it sense. also fits. I didn't think of it, but now that you mention it. The only one we don't have an answer for is nine at this point. It sounds to me like one of those um, movies from the end of the world, like 007 and all that. But that's only because of the bad guys and the scientists and helping the bad guys. I have a feeling it's something I've not seen. You know, I, know I, keep, I, I seen. keep having the picture in my head of um, 
was it the mouse that roared? There was a scientist in the lab doing something. But I, I've never seen the movie and I, I can't remember the what the scientist was oh, doing. I, I've seen the mouse that roared and I can't remember the bad guys. Nobody's really a bad guy. Well, I don't know that the scientist was you know, bad. is the bad guys, but uh, that's why I was thinking of something, something like an 007 movie or something, where you know the bad bad guys and somebody, and he helps the bad guys. One of those. I never watched those movies, but it sounds like the kind of plot they have, which is the reason I don't watch them. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, I've only narrowed it down, even if I'm right, to about a dozen movies, right? Well, that's what he said, too. So yeah. Mark's in the, Susan Mark's in the hospital for kidney problems? Uh, a blockage. A blockage. On the way to the, the kidney's fine. On the, leading but to it, the but kidneys. But the kidney's pissed off because yeah. there's this blockage. So it's the blockage. Well, that's the problem. The kidneys are, you know... Well, I hope for his it, it, case that it's not a stone well. that will hurt because people who no, have this stone. face the worst pain ever. No, uh -uh, he's in no pain for it. So we don't know. And they just keep putting it off every day. It seems like it's another, I don't know. So I get Do to, they have the blockage taken care of? No, they don't know what it is. They don't know what it is. Mm -mm. So are they, they have them on dialysis? Nope. What are they doing? They're just letting, making him drink a lot of water and they're letting everything drain. And it is going through the kidneys. Uh, yeah, mostly on one, one. Just fine. The other, not so much. But we'll see. Hmm. We'll well, see. Hopefully tomorrow morning I'll know something. But every day it's a new thing. Is there anything else? Send, him, send him my love. Okay, I sure will. Um, so. Yeah. Well, well, you know to do that from all of us. Tell oh, of course. I'll, I'll tell him. I'll tell him. Um, We're yeah. not sending him prayers, but we are sending him. All our <laughs> no, nobody's vibrating. Yeah. How can you pass <laughs> on your prayers? I'd be like, whatever, get over it. Um, so are we done? I don't think we're going to. No, get we there. don't have anything for nine yet. We're working on. Maybe. our... I'm still, still Bill's trying to come up with the number nine. Bill's working on it. Okay. I'm digging into my brain right now. Okay. He's you accessing keep, his memory. You <laughs> keep, you keep doing that. <sighs> I, I this is one case where there's probably nothing there. Well, I'll keep Janine, digging. Janine, did you ever hear back from um, uh, Jonathan uh, Joshua J? By any chance, I haven't heard anything from. I him. haven't yeah. contacted him. You know, I, I just, just feel I, like I he know. must be so <sighs> yeah. devastated. You know, and I've had trouble. I can't even talk about it. So. Oh, we're all we're all in that same. So, same but area. I'm thankful he's he's going to keep working on the project, and I do have stuff that I could send him it, because I think there's a tremendous amount on the webs on the old website, and mm -hmm. of course I have backup copies of it. Yeah, and I have so, copies too of all the stuff I uploaded. So. so yeah, but this wasn't anything uploaded. That website's huge, and it has. You know, it's the trans transings of the real to real, um, his videos, his movies, his um, it's everything. I think he had. Hey, hi, Carl. Hello. I think he has because uh, he told me that he had taken the most important stuff with him to New, New York. York. Yeah. So he's probably got the hard drive at least. And mm -hmm. I don't know what else he would have. Had. I think he would have the collection that Ray gave him. Hmm. which would be the most important stuff we could duplicate the illusions okay bill come up with something sorry just like. ask carl <laughs> I, I think know he the knows answer. the answer carl probably knows uh, yeah, well i hope carl knows otherwise it's going to be a very interesting game if we have to try to figure out we have to uh, yeah, I know. thought you were all going to help me figure out the answers when we're done. Oh, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> us. All right. So I guess we're as done as we can hey, get. Quick, we're not gonna get Bill, that. just come up with any old movie. Ever I just any... put on Dr. No. Does that make sense? There you that's go. The only one I thought of. Good. I like that one. Okay, let's yeah. go. Uh, it's, it's wrong, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> 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 
Better than that. I don't know why. It's not a Taylor Swift category, so it's better than a blank space. I don't know why. A blank space or or a wrong answer are the same. Well, yes. But at least with the answer you reasonably believe is wrong, there's still a chance you could be mistaken and it's correct. The answer will never be a blank space unless it's a Taylor Swift category. The sound of music. Homeopathy. You can't win the lottery if you don't play. Right. Why, why why taylor swift i don't get it because she has a song called a blank space oh well how do you are you a swifty no i've, I've got had this discussion with rob <laughs> okay he even had a taylor swift category where the answer was a blank space and he said i'll even accept no answer because that's a blank space oh <laughs> but homeopathy is going to give you a blank space too Right. Well, told me opposite. It's it would be so easy, there's no trace of the original answer. Eastern. I'm looking at data. Vincent, you're muted. You know, darn it, I thought we were, I thought, I thought they fixed this problem where it, I don't get, you know, we don't get muted when we go back into the room. But oh, I guess not. Um, it's all changed. Zoom is completely changed. I know. It's well, 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 not exactly the same. Those. I don't know what you're talking about. I was muted. Yeah, I was muted. My one at work got, was really different. I turned it on and there was all, like the setting up meetings was different and the, the list Something. of things was different. Just what we need ahead of the global skeptics in the pub. Yeah, <laughs> yeah All exactly. Right. Hmm. All right. So we've got Plot Holes and Fundamentally Flawed Films, Volume 1. Here we go. Yay. Number Yay. one, The Hunt for Rod October. You know, Yay. I almost said that and then I didn't. Shoot. Number two. Wall Street. Yay! Oh, yeah. 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 Very good. We Not the it. wrong Wall Street. We yeah. agonized over that one for. We did too. We 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 were. Oh, which one is it? Number three. Pick the wrong Signs. one. Yay, All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And the substance oh, water. Superman. Water kills the aliens. Oh come yep. on now! When they come oh, to so Earth. Good. Where water is all. Well, one the of them got the away and M9. became the wicked Every witch of the West. Open. Oh no! Seriously. Number four, the Shawshank Redemption. How did he cover does the this have to be an answer every week that, now? That, there's actually a solution to this. It was only taped at the top, so after it, it just fell back down. Gravity. Speaking of gravity. Yeah, you can grab <laughs> Number five. <laughs> Yay. I, I cringe during that scene in, in the movie. Uh, the, Matrix. the Matrix. The Matrix. They specifically uh, mentioned that the... the the machines have a form of power, a form of fusion power, in which case mm -hmm. they don't need people hooked up with batteries to provide power. They're just cruel. So, oh, interestingly, yeah. the original the original uh, script for that had it so that the humans yeah. were being used for their their brain capacity yes. to make a big network. And then, no, that's too complicated. No one will yeah. understand that. Bad, <laughs> bad decision. Yep. Yep. Number three, I Cinderella. Oh, you are you know, I thought about that, too. Very, very the first well. day in a glass How slipper after midnight. Oh no! Oh yeah. Oh, karate. Create the Karate Kid. Hmm. He karate defeats kid. him with an illegal kick to the face. Oh, oh dang it! it. They specifically you know, tell you it's an illegal face. move. So why doesn't the Hunger Games fit that also? <laughs> I didn't see it. Um, <laughs> number nine, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I will accept just Rogue One. Yay! Oh. But would you accept chain reaction because it also fits? <laughs> no, Rogue One makes total sense, and I'm kicking myself. I didn't see it. So. Yes, thanks for the number ten. clarification. We got it. Number ten, the Planet of the Apes. Yay! Of course. Oh, look at that fancy schmancy. All right, so 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 people. As we discussed in the thing, you know, if you don't have dates on these, you might have another plot which is close enough to it. So why does not Hunger Games fit eight? I never saw it. Because it's not the answer he was looking for. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't you know Regal Karen's move? rule? Come on, man. Come on, because, man. Because the Hunger Games is not a sporting event. 
Let's just put no, it back. I think it kind of was. And it didn't have any illegal moves. Uh, that's was what it? I was going to say. There was nothing yeah. illegal. Wasn't the thing that she, uh, I haven't seen in a long time, wasn't the thing that she and the competitor decided to do it together and then they both won? And that maybe. Yeah, but that wasn't an illegal move. That was... not, there are really no rules. Like you can buy and give things to the competitors in that free for all. Did you put that as an answer, bro? Yes. I just have to say I love gravity because it keeps me grounded. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a pretty weighty concept, Vincent. Oh, okay. good Carl. All right. Is Wolf of Wall Street a different movie than Wall Street? Totally yes. different movie, yes. Okay, so what was the answer to number decade. seven? I missed it somehow. Team five. Karate Kid. <coughs> Karate Kid. We got it. No, that was eight. Oh, let me paste yeah. the answer. Oh, sorry, seven no. was Cinderella. Sorry, yeah. Cinderella, Cinderella. You know how many times yeah, I've heard that? The Gremlins word? fits for that, too, though. For which one? No, Gremlins. it doesn't. Gremlins, you're not supposed to feed or give them water. Okay, yeah. you don't feed them after midnight. There, there isn't an item, an identity. Yeah, there isn't, they don't revert, revert back. Once they're changed, they're changed. Okay, so the it's scores bad. are, and time. the scores are, four hot women and maybe Vincent, team five. Seven. Seven. Well. All right, we don't need more time. We'll we sent it's Trump to go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Six. Mexico sends its criminals to the U.S. The U.S. sends its criminals to the Supreme Court. We got eight. Well, get well, Mark. Well, if we're not getting Hunger Games, it's a nine. Yes. Aww. <laughs> but he didn't address the sharks in the batteries. Six. Six. And that was your own team, Carl. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, the curse lives on. Yeah, yeah. My job. The All curse right. is so powerful, even Bill could not defeat it. <gasps> Janine <sighs> thought she knew all the answers, all the movies, because you know how she's she she's just oh, she's yeah. totally <laughs> movie. Girl. I just know everything about pop culture. Right? Hey, we got ten answers. That was a fun, ca uh, fun category. Yeah, that was good. I liked it. I guess I'm looking be forward one. to volume well, there, There's two. another one. But... So, Robert, Ready? you're next. That was a lot of fun. Okay, so um, did anybody guess what my category is for my background? Has to do with uh, numbers. House numbers. numbers. House Prime numbers. numbers. Numerology. Prime numbers. Prime numbers. So, Prime so what's, it's going to be what... house, famous house numbers. <laughs> what is, Prime what day. is, what is <laughs> today's date? What is today's date? It is 7-11. 7-11 oh, day. It is 7-11. Resources. Oh, we're going to do a thing about 7-Eleven? Well, we're doing 7-Eleven. Okay, here we go. Oh, we really are? Oh, my God. I we really I are. I thought we were getting... I it's 7-Eleven. Okay. Do I have to mute everybody or are you going to be quiet? Okay. Number one. The company began operating in 1927. That's amazing. As totem stores because customers toted away their purchases. And some stores featured totem poles in front of the store. At some point, the name was changed. What is the meaning of the new name? Question number two. In what year did that name change happen? I'm going to give you a margin of plus or minus 10 years. Oh, number three. We're going to have a Canadian question. The first 7-Eleven store to open in Canada was in Calgary, Alberta, on June 29th, 1969. As of December 2022, the last date I could find, how many stores were operating in Canada? And this is going to be different. I'm going to give a point to the closest guess. Ooh. Bonus point or just only point? The only point. That's the point. That's how you get a point. So only one team can get a point on this. That's correct. And I have a bonus, so actually you can still get a 10. So, in what year did the first 7-Eleven open in Australia? Nobody's from Australia today, but I can suck that in. Also, plus or minus 10 years. Number five. What popular drink was introduced by 7-Eleven in 1965? Number six. In 2012, 7-Eleven changed the size of the double gulp from 64 ounces to 50 ounces. According to 7-Eleven spokesperson, what, why was this done? What's the reason for the reduction in size? Number seven. 
In April 2021, 7-Eleven launched an ad campaign with a slogan inspired by both the chain's name as well as by a phrase made popular in the film, This is Spinal Tap. Name the slogan. Number eight, I got a multiple choice for you. According to the company, today 7-Eleven is a global brand with more stores than any other retailer in the world. It has stores in 20 countries. Give me the number of stores the company website claims it has now. A, more than 7,011. B, more than 18,400. C, more than 84,000. D, more than 170,011. <laughs> e, more than 711,000. Or F, more than 1,007,011. Uh, technically, A is the correct answer. No, no matter what your I, answer is. No, I didn't say what's the number. I said what is on the website. <laughs> what does it say it has? So that oh, is one oh, of gotcha. the statements is on their website. We have more than. That's what I want to know. Gotcha. Yeah. Number nine. Seven not Seven Eleven Incorporated is headquartered in Irving, Texas, and owned by a company headquartered in what country? Number ten. One. In 1968, the company logo was changed. One letter in the previously all caps logo was changed to a lowercase letter. Which letter is now lowercase? And the bonus. Why was the letter changed? 7 Eleven is the store for you. There we go. Okay. Any questions? Wow, we've really we've really hit it. If we're, we're for categories, if we go to seven eleven, it's a category now. It's it's a global brand with more stores than any other retailer. Why sense. wouldn't one pick that? <clears throat> you guys have just amazed me with your with your okay. more popular than Radio Shack. <laughs> go hey, Radio, Radio Shack used to be up back, there. The one time there was more Radio Shacks than McDonald's. Not anymore. No. I guess I should go to my room. No, it's a different it's a different name, but Super No, it's the Slurpee, not the Icy. Icy is other uh, places. Are we starting at the top? Welcome, Susan. Thank you for letting me come to your room. All right. Okay. The company began operating in twenty. This was my guess. I don't know if it's correct or not. I thought oh. because it was I thought because it was open from seven AM till eleven PM. Oh, That's that could be yeah. too, Karen. That, that may be a better answer than mine. Because that's why it would be seven dash eleven and not the other way around. And, okay. Yeah. Open. Well, that's good. Okay. And um, it probably happened in the seventies. Eleven PM. Okay. No, no. I happened when my mom was a kid and she was born in 43. So it was she only remembers it ever being 7 Eleven. So like the 1955 or we, we got 10 years, event. right? In Arizona they have a thing called Circle K. Mm -hmm. So one time we had like a whole conversation around these kinds of things. And she said she always remembered 7 Eleven as 7 Eleven. Oh, wow. I think I had a 7-Eleven related question in one of my rounds. Um, what year did you uh, propose, Susan? 55, if your mom was born in 43? Sure. Why not? You said when she was a Works. kid. So Works for me. Yeah, I wasn't specific. I don't know. I don't know if she, how little she was, or if she met a young teenager. I have no idea. But why not? Okay. Um, Canada. Oh, Canada. No clue. No clue. Somebody take a guess. Who's the closest to Canada? That would be. Oh. None of us here. <laughs> ben, you're closer to Canada. One hundred. No, I'm not. Why am I closer to Canada? Huh. One thousand. One, uh, one million. Oh. 
It's probably a lot. Seven thousand one one zero. Canada is pretty spread out, and Seven Elevens are everywhere. Like you know, so they started in sixty nine. So they've been in Canada for a while. For, in Thailand, in Thailand, they're like they're they're more prevalent than Starbucks. Like wow. you can drive. I drove down the street. I started counting them. Somewhere in my notes from my trip to Thailand, I have a count of 7-Elevens. I would go down a street and like within four or five blocks, there'd be like four of them. I, it was crazy. Like a Starbucks. More than Starbucks. Even, yeah, yeah, I think they're more than Starbucks. So what are, what are we thinking? How many? Cindy, guess a number. I have no idea. 7,000. Right. Okay. I think it's higher than 7,000. Say a number then. I think it's closer to 12,000. Okay, 12,000. But make an right. odd number because he wants it to be, because we, we have to have a, everybody say a number. So Karen, okay, so 12,000. Karen, give me a number. Uh, One. 100, Ben. I put the five on the end. So okay, Cindy can and tell us what the zero is. What's the next one, Cindy? Five. Five, okay. five, okay. 12,155. Okay. All right. Australia. Um, good Lord. No idea. Well, they expanded. 60? They did an expansion in a certain time. Um, hmm. It says Canada was 69. So it's probably after, after Canada because Canada is you know, in the same hemisphere. So maybe 75 or... 73. Okay, okay. But 1973. All right. No idea. And then... I, maybe so, we should go later, because if it's sure after... It's, I see. We got a 1980. 10, let's do 10 years from 69. So let's do 1979. Mm -hmm. Because we got a 10-year spread. You can get the IC at... Um, like movie theaters and stuff that's sold at so multiple Slurpee? gas stations. The Slurpee is the 7-Eleven branded. Okay. Are right? you okay? You have, the big, big you have the you have the big the big gulp is the soft hmm. drink. The Slurpee is the icy type drink. Okay, so that's a drink. Cindy, are you is that are are you agreeing? I'm, not really, but in Florida, where I grew up, there were so many 7-Elevens. And I remember the icy I don't we went to the store, we got the icy. So but. so maybe it was like that in Florida. In California, they were called Slurpees as well. Wow. Um so there's right. still seven elevens around here. I haven't seen one. Oh yeah. Down. Yeah, yeah, they're all over. Uh I, in fact they do banking sure. in them now. My bank, my credit union moved and they said if you need yeah. to, you know, if you don't want to go across town, you can just go to the ATM at the 7-Eleven, it's got a like a little ATM thing in there. Hmm. Yeah, I, I see is like a known brand of frozen beverage, right? 7-Eleven uh, has their own, which is the Slurpee, and it competes with the IC, I'm, I'm almost positive of. Okay. I'm I think you can get ICs at, like you get an IC cup. Uh, my kids get ICs when they go to the movie theater, which has nothing to do with 7-Eleven. So I'm I'm almost I don't know, positive that it's I don't know thing. number six at uh, at all. What for uh, less sugar? They're corporate greedy bastards. Oh yeah, that's tough. Well, 2012. What happened in 2012? Let's think about that. Was that like a kids? Um, you know, kids. The, the uh, Obamas were in office, and Michelle's thing was a healthy lifestyle. That could be why. Do we want to eating, say eating your veggies and and ex moving, exercising more, and eating was, better? Was there like a specific act or something that was created because didn't multiple things like change sizes because of that act or whatever they, it was called? It was, I don't know if there was an act, but I think there was a a lot of discussion about the the, the yeah. uh, extra large slices that you could order, like at McDonald's. Just yeah. add all these, these fast food and convenience. Unless it was also due to the Super Size Me yeah, documentary, which went after McDonald's, size. and that made and the big gulp also. 
I think you're right because that's. About but I like Karen. Call. Your your point of it being during the Obama administration is good too. So do we think it was like the documentary, or do we think it was something that when Dark, Michelle was in there? I think, think so? it supersized okay. me because that's about 2012. Yeah, documentary. Yeah, because uh, supersize me. Yeah. Two yeah, words McDonald's. or three words? I can't remember. To to kind of compete with uh, McDonald's. Okay. Um, now this is Spinal Tech. I have got to watch it again. Just Turn it up to see. eleven. But I've never heard that mm. as a slogan for them, right? Turn it up to uh, eleven. Remember in Spinal Tap, they have yep. the yeah, one through turn ten, up to eleven, and they said, "Turn." No, it, it says it goes to eleven. Turn it up to eleven, and then they yeah. add eleven. Uh, how is that? What was the wording? Did it say it goes to it? Because their amps actually have eleven. Mine goes to it. eleven. Um. Because they, because he had the eleven on the, on the right. knob. But what's the I, slogan? I, but turn it up to eleven. You would, it makes more sense as a slogan, though. Oh but, yeah, because it's yeah, seven eleven. Yeah, but I've never heard a slo a slogan with. I mean, I don't know where I would, but I mean, I, I don't slogan. know. What do we want? Do we want to leave it as this or do we it want? It says it's got to have the chain's name as well as a phrase. So 7-Eleven turns it up. To, well, to it says three. inspired by both the chain's names. It doesn't turn necessarily it, say it has to have it in there. Turn it up to 7-Eleven or go up to 7-Eleven. Any of those are fine because I don't recognize it at all. But it does make yeah. sense that that would have the, the well, 11. yeah. Spinal Tap definitely had the eleven in it, so I don't know if the seven's necessarily in there. But turn it up to eleven. It, it just says inspired by. It doesn't okay, so necessarily turn up mean to that all fine. of we like that one. I don't know. I, turn I think up, that's fine. Turn up to eleven. No. Um, mm -hmm. we'll no see guess. how much leeway Rob gives us. Mm -hmm. No guess. And well, we already nine, said that Canada has 7,000 or 12,000. That is a lot. Do we think like all these are just variations of sevens and 11? So are those just like ones we should ignore? Or is it going to be a coincidence that no, it actually just, has seven? Because he says more than. So, oh, he says, yeah, no. the website says it, huh? Because these two don't. But um, maybe they put these more than so that they could have the the numbers seven and eleven in their it's, answer. It's I massive. Know. I think I was in Hong Kong and saw them there. I'll I'm really I'm that. really bad at estimating numbers though, so I don't I don't know Let's if I should do D or E. How about E? You think that many? I think it's even more, but because that starts with. 7 and 11, one right after the other in the yeah. correct order. I like E. E sounds fine to me if everyone else is good with it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put a space there. And number nine, That's doesn't everybody own by China? What? No, no, we'd be hearing about it by the Republicans. Um, uh, I don't think, yeah. I mean, you know, you're from Texan. Cindy? You know, that it, it says it's headquartered in Irving, Texas, and I lived in Houston, Texas for 25 years. I do not remember seeing a 7-Eleven in Houston because all our convenience stores were attached to gas stations. But I remember 7-Eleven in Seattle. That's the last place <laughs> I went to a 7-Eleven at was in Seattle. Once I left Seattle, never went to a 7-Eleven again. Okay, what country could it be? Canadian? Well, wouldn't it be great if it was the U.S.? It'd be great. It would be really nice, but... Or is it, uh, where did you say there's a lot of them? Thailand? Thailand, they're everywhere. Should we put Thailand? Yeah, so, so what it is, no. is, is 7-Eleven Incorporated is not the main company. It's owned by something right. else. They oh. were probably originally a USA company, and then uh, someone bought them out, and whoever bought them Asian out and company. owns them... Because uh, if it had, we would be hearing else. about it. Because, like I said, they even have these banking things inside the buildings, and maybe there would it seems like there'd be fuss over it. So maybe it's the 
Well, could I it would be think Canada? it's a USA thing, but but I can't imagine it being Canada or Mexico or you Europe, just somewhere in Europe. States. I have no idea. Just say United States. But US, because it might be a trick question. It could be. Okay. You know, United this States. one I don't know. The company logo was changed. One yes, list. I do. Okay, Karen. Okay. What is so, it? So it was all caps before? Well, it is. Well, I don't know if, about it being before, but the look because again, I've had this conversation. Why is the N lowercase? Oh, good call. Why is it? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> but it's the last letter. It bugs me because it's all capital letters, and the last one is an N, and it doesn't make sense to me. Why is the N lowercase? I have no idea. Because Maybe it's at because the it end. Stands I don't out. Know. Maybe it makes it because it stands out. But why? Why would you want the end to stand or to ignore people, to uh, to uh, annoy people so much that they'll stop at 7-Eleven to bitch about it and they'll spend some money? Well, I'm here. Might as well get some candy. <laughs> let me, let me, let me. I'm going to get some candy. They, have milk duds. they don't have milk duds, though. Are you, are you guys done? We Were you just trying to figure out the bonus? Other than that, I think we've answered everything. Okay, I'm going to put a minute more. Hey, how about this? How about if you were going by quickly an n a capital n kind of looks like an i and a v and an n lowercase only looks like an n i think it's because if if you write it it's e is it there's an e e e yeah and and it and it looks symmetrical because you've got straight lines no there's the v's not straight well, and is the the two L's and eleven or the ones or the fonts where they look like the number eleven inside of the word eleven? Oh, I'm trying to remember yeah. exactly how their logo looks. It's a big seven, right? And then the and word eleven is un under it, I think. But it's the number seven, and then the word eleven. I think what it's the heck did they. Under it. it could be a visual thing, just yeah, like you were saying, Karen, that it looks like, like a like a one I and a v. v or an I and a V, so it looked like maybe a Roman numeral. Maybe it'll look neater because the E at one end, the E at the other end, and the E in the middle, it looks balanced. Oh, maybe it's feng shui. Yeah, we have to put something. Uh, we got forty five seconds. What I think it's a put? visual thing, just like it just. Maybe it, it did well in the tests they did with the um, focus groups. Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I but is that even going to be it enough? Looks it looks balanced. It looks balanced. It doesn't look balanced. It's annoying. <laughs> well, you got you got the E at the end, E at the other end, and E in the middle. E in the beginning, the middle, and end. And then the end is just there. But I think it's visual. Do we want to expand on that at all? I don't know if that's it probably has something to do with some Asian country that owns it, probably, and it's got like. They'll probably not get that one, but that's fine. It's bonus anyway. I don't. What are we putting? Visual. It looks like visual. What's <laughs> poor Karen? Right, she's about to make a really good point. She's going to have a nice rant. <laughs> she's she's going to cut right off. She's going to say visual. <laughs> Everything is visual, right? Did I read your mind, Karen? Yeah. I I didn't understand. Well, the we, we explained it in our, and you can listen to the audio because we were recording it. Right. Okay, so here we go. Now I got to know that one. On July 11th, 7 11, we're going to get the uh, 11 answers about the company 7 Eleven. So the first one um, what is the meaning of the new company name? Well, not new, but the revised company name. And it is uh, the operating hours that were switched at the same time they changed the company, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. It's open 24 hours now, right? Yeah. Some of them are. All right. The year that the name change happened, I gave you plus or minus 10 on that. It is, wow, a long time ago. 1946. Oh, oh my we God. got it. We got it, right? Oh. Yeah. We get it, Ron? We got it. We got 54. Yeah. That's We're in the close. range, right? That's yep. just, yeah. It's just in the range, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so for our Canadian friends, I gave a Canadian question. How many stores <laughs> yeah. operating in Canada? Know that. All right, so what I want is the uh, the person who's doing the um, the category from each team to tell me what the answer is, starting with call, team. Call on them, Rob. Team number one. 
711. Not all right. Uh Susan, what did what did uh, my team do? Twelve thousand one hundred and fifty-five. 12,155. Way too high. Oddly specific yeah, number. All right, team three. That doesn't bring Gort. <laughs> All right. <dude. laughs> you have to call him out by name, Rob. I, I'm not looking at that screen. What's team three's name, Susan? Okay, it is uh, Mexico sends its criminals to the U.S. Yes, we have 9,000. Nine thousand over right. nine thousand. Okay. Team four. We don't need more time. We sentenced Trump. We, to jail. we decided that it's like one per person in Canada, so we said forty. <laughs> <laughs> four zero. Four There's probably in forty in Calgary alone. <laughs> okay, and, uh, and four hot last... women, and maybe Vincent. Yeah. Thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five thousand. Wow. Okay, so I think we're all the over the ballpark. So it's actually a fairly small number because, like, apparently uh, Canada's got no population. It's 562. Yes. The closest <laughs> team was team number one, which guessed 700. Yeah. One? What did they no, guess? They again? guessed 700. 711. They guessed uh, 700. That's right. They did the 711. Shoot. How is that possible when there's one on every single corner? <laughs> because because only you the don't big have city. That Canada's big round and there's no corner. You, don't you, don't have you only have like corners. 10 big cities in Canada. There's only right. 10 big cities. Those are the ones that have them. Everybody else. Carl, Canada's flat. And every <laughs> small town I've ever been in, anywhere in Canada, has a 7 Eleven. And there's a lot of small towns in Canada. Apparently, a lot of small towns. 711 of them. At least 500. Adrian, small they keep towns. moving ahead of you. It's it's a time warp thing. So <laughs> every time you enter the wheels. town, it just appears. <laughs> Here we go. All we right. go to the next All right, moving on. Years. Number four. In what year did the first seven open in Australia? And Richard's not here, too. He would have known this, I'm sure. I amazingly heard one team guess it exactly right by doing math about when they graduated from school. 1977. <laughs> we got it. 79. Yeah. Oh. 74. Oh. The 10 year yeah. margin. Yes. Is there a plus minus? Very close. There it was, was a plus yeah. or minus 10, so 67. Oh, yeah, we got one. We got yeah, one. Okay. We got two. <laughs> All right. What popular drink was introduced in 1960? It is the Slurpee. Yay! Yay. Yeah. Okay. Good tongue, everybody. In 2012, 7-Eleven changed the size of its double gulp from 64 down to 50. According to 7-Eleven spokesman, why was this done? Now, at the time, New York City uh, decided that you could not have drinks of a certain size because of uh, diabetes and da da da. But that's not what 7 Eleven admitted oh. to. They okay. said the older style cups were too wide at the base and did not fit in a typical vehicle beverage holder. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Good job. Got it. Oh. Going with what they said or with what was. Happening I said, according court. to 7 Eleven, why was this oh. done? Jane got that because she said Jane it has got to be that a positive one. spin. Somebody yeah. got that? Somebody got that. Jane got that. Jane knows her seven. Words. Very good. I thought of three ideas, and that's the one they came that they I thought it was a great idea because it's got to be a positive spin. <laughs> I thought it was something to supersize me with the yeah, so, I thought that in, too. but I'm remembering in, this. It was Giuliani, I believe, right? I think no, was, no, no, was he was long guy. gone by then. The mayor. Oh. All right, in 2021, 7 Eleven launched the ad campaign, uh, taken off for their name, and also this is Spinal Tap. So, in Spinal Tap, the actual phrase is. These go to 11, talking about the amplifiers, but they used take it to 11. Oh, we had turned it up to 11. I'm guessing mm -hmm. that's not yeah. close take it enough. To 11. Goes, to 11. goes up to 11. We said it goes up to 11. Yeah, nope. yeah that's what we take said. It goes to 11. To 11. Take it to 11. So, number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Mm -hmm. It is, um, 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 let's see, uh, how many uh, global brand, how many are in the whole world? Uh, they said, quote, we have more than 84,000. Stores. Really? That was C. That was so? C. I That's, just realized if you picked I told you, you the answer is always C. <laughs> yeah. well, we already we already came up with that, but he says according to the website, it's on okay. there. Okay. Number nine, the company that actually owns the company that started in Texas is uh Japan. Oh, okay, no, it was Taiwan. Oh, I got that one. Think of that, but I, I, think no, I thought it was Taiwan. Uh, no, seven eleven of Japan is the name. In India. Yeah. Taiwan. All right, so for the um, the company logo, yeah. I'm actually going to play a little video here, which Ooh, I found, which has all of the logos back to when the company started. I won't, I won't bore you with all of them, but I, I got it to the mid-60s here, so you're going to see the change. 
All right, let me do a share, share screen. Okay, yeah. So, it, as you can see, all of the uh, letters oh, are, is that what it looks like? Are capitalized? No, this is sixty to sixty-three. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I knew so it was it the was last letter, end. but I kept saying it's E, the last letter. Then I realized, no, the last letter is N. <laughs> <laughs> Karen knew it, so but I, have to say it. I don't e, know if we came up with e. the reason why. All right. So the reason why, I don't think anybody would have guessed this. The wife of the company's president thought that the all capital version that they inherited when he became president seemed too aggressive. Yes. <laughs> suggested the change to make the logo look graceful. We yeah. got it. Wow. Yeah, we got it. Kevin including that. the wife <laughs> no way really wow oh, very good oh my god Can, i i thought is the reason that, is was that mrs mrs 11 it's, it's, i thought because it's so annoying that people like me can't resist going inside to complain about it and, say, Why? <laughs> and then you'll spend some money while you're there right exactly <laughs> well, they what, said it was I... too aggressive and and what was the last thing you said too aggressive she wanted it to look more graceful was the graceful quote. really right. i thought she, she wanted job, to make it more uh, rounded uh, but i was close job, that's it Jamie, when I was in Thailand, I recall seeing a 7-Eleven with greater frequency yeah. than Starbucks everywhere. There's everywhere. It's we, everywhere. There's two, two, uh, there's probably two 7-Elevens uh, on every block. In every neither city. one of us have ever been in a 7-Eleven. Wow. It's insane. Yeah, but they are. They're that prevalent, huh, Jamie? They're really prevalent. Oh, my God. If my I, son's in South pay, Korea, and he says they're pay. everywhere. I'm it's sorry, what'd you say, Jamie? It's where you pay your bills. Your electric bill, phone bills, you go to 7-Eleven. Huh. So I was saying the same thing in America. Anyway. They, they sell more hot dogs than anybody, 7-Eleven, because of all the locations. And the hot dogs they sell are the ones they get from like Costco or, or uh, the other store, mm. the Kirk, Kirkland brand. Mm -hmm. They sell yeah. more of those than any other brand of hot dog because of 7-Eleven. Huh. Jeez. Um, all right. So let's I, I used to work at a 7-Eleven next to San Jose State, <clears throat> came to work one day and there was a hole in the back wall from somebody shot a shotgun uh, during, a, <laughs> during a robbery. Wow. I didn't work oh. that night. Oh my God. Okay, so this is scores. They had to Here have a Scorpio, I guess. So let's start off with, we don't need more time. We sent it's Trump to go to, directly to jail. Eight. All right, that's a nice, nice score. Uh, but he didn't address the sharks and the batteries. Eight, nine. <laughs> I think we had nine, didn't we? Nine, 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 oh, nine. Oh, did yeah. we get that? We got the the N was right. Wow. Yeah, the N was correct. Four hot women and maybe Vincent. Three. Three. Ooh. Ooh. Mexico sends its criminals to the U.S. I got us a four. Yeah. Wrong, wrong columns. Wrong columns. Wrong columns undo, undo before you lose the score. Control. <laughs> God, everybody gets so panicky. You would think <laughs> I, you would have think I confused uh, uh, Kamala and uh, uh, and Trump as for my vice president. Give well, Mark. Five. Oh, okay, we are kind of close. All right, so before we do a photo, which we're gonna do. <laughs> We're going to sing happy birthday to Wendy because we did we missed it last week. Okay. So she you guys know surprised. how this works. Everybody get yourself together so that we can we can sing happy birthday to uh, Wendy. The idea is not to do it together. Well, yeah, the idea is not to, well, it won't work anyway. Even if we tried, we had a trivia birthday singing group. Like if we were hired out to go places and like sing the birthday song to people. They'd ask us to pay. Oh, oh look at Lee. Guess, pay. <laughs> Guess who's okay. buying the drinks? Oh, those okay, people. Okay, ready? All right. Uh, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. 
And many, many, many more. Happy I tried to make the balloons show on my screen, but they're not working. I don't get balloons. I don't is, that, is that Ke is that Kevin or is that Leonard? Hang on a second. Oh, oh. <laughs> I had a happy birthday, birthday, Wendy. Oh, thank you. Okay, so let's take a photo. Oh, oh wait a minute. Everybody take a photo. photo. That's Everybody ready for ready. the close up? No. Close up. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find it on the screen. I've got too much stuff on my desktop here. Okay. There it is. All right. <laughs> One. <laughs> you can't get close enough to like it. One, two, three. I gave an evil one. Okay. okay. That's Our power be... just went out. So... Really? It was. It was. Yeah. It was Adrian. So I'm yeah. probably leaving. But what is yeah. even better is that's what it says, Susan Gerbeck. So it's yeah. I figured that be... You guys are Ooh. awful. Oh, she's yeah. evil. Aren't you, evil. Aren't you close to other people, Deborah? What do you mean? I'm like, bleeding to death. I'm going to go. I don't oh, know what happened, Ron. And... She's about a half an hour away. Oh. Maybe oh, a little Yeah, bit. no. It, our power went out the other night at nine o'clock and didn't come back on until midnight. Really? Oh. The only reason I can mm -hmm. talk to you is because we have like a boost a thing on our internet to keep the internet going. Yeah. <laughs> It only lasts a little while. So. Yeah. A cold fusion generator. So everybody's talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. Humans. I want a cold it's fusion generator. A okay, copper so, top. So, um, hey, everybody, I want you to, uh, anybody who's in GSOW, I'm going to emit a new GSOW editor, brand spanking new. Yay. I'm going to do it right now we're on, while we're on break. So make sure you guys go over and say welcome or whatever you guys do. Okay. So five minutes, everybody. All right. okay. I may not be back, depending on the power. Well, okay. we'll miss you. Oh, good Great luck, Deborah. Deborah. I Thank would tell you. Be afraid. <laughs> be very afraid. Oh. Be safe, Deborah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, it's not dangerous here. <laughs> it just gets dark. <laughs> so so why, why are you guys having a problem with your power out there? Who knows? I mean, there haven't been any big storms. No, they're, they've been working on some of the power lines, like replacing the poles and stuff so oh. that they won't catch on fire. So maybe it's that. I don't know. It could be that, that they're just not being careful enough to be, keep the power on when they're replacing poles. I don't know. Who knows? No, it's, it says it was restored, but that was the other one. <laughs> They don't have you know, I really there. love the way the earth rotates. It makes my day. Oh, oh man. As the world turns. All right. I'm going to leave. I'll come back if I can. Sorry, yeah, team. So. <laughs> Good luck, Tipper. Well, I should probably tell that joke when everyone is back. I hope nobody can hear my um, air conditioner. Is it noisy? I'm waiting. Apparently, it is noisy. Oh, I'm waiting for the punchline, Vincent. Is there a punchline? No, for that? no, there's no punchline. I have my air conditioner. If I turn my air conditioner off, it's just going to get sweltering hot. So, mm -hmm. well, we have lost seven degrees and since we started this down to 104 here oh yeah well fortunately it's not that hot here <laughs> in terms it almost got that hot yesterday uh, but it is going to cool down so very... it got to 40 in edmonton yesterday i don't know what that is in fahrenheit it's fucking hot is what it is <laughs> oh, that, yeah that's 99 almost. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unbearable. I haven't slept. <laughs> and I did a bunch of recording with Adrian today. So by the time my category comes around, I'm 
probably going to be a little punchy. <laughs> and we love you for it. I had to turn my air conditioner from 75 degrees to 80 degrees in order to reduce the amount of energy I was exp expending. Yeah. I am so lucky. I live in a place that uh, only cost me $50 a month for electricity, and that's just no matter how much I use. Ah, that's nice. That is, yeah. I, you got I got that's it. So how many people here will be at the uh, Global Pub Night next Friday? I will uh, only if I receive an invite. It's part of the Skeptical Conference. So you should be able to get um, a link. There'll be a link uh, posted, Vincent, if you go on the Skeptical website. Um, you do not have to buy a ticket in order to attend. But there are people in Calgary actually going to a pub for it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm attending from the comfort of my home in several time zones <laughs> i will be i if if i decide to join i will so it's skeptical website mm -hmm. skeptical conference so it's skeptical cal with a capital c for california conference here vincent let, let me send you the oh do you have chat yet yeah, I have chat. Okay. It's called Skeptical Conference 2024. Yep. Online July 19th to the 21st. That's right. And so on July 19th, Friday, okay. oh. at 7 o'clock local time around the world, everybody is joining in. I, I, I found it. Yeah. 2024 time for skepticism mm -hmm. skepti cal there's yep. like and then there's the, tickets. yeah there's the global skeptics in the pub so new zealand starts at midnight 18 to 19 mm. for us mm. And which will be on a Thursday night. So if we play trivia long enough, <laughs> yeah, stay awake. Well, they're New Zealand's 18 hours ahead of me. So that would be three o'clock in the morning. No. Yeah. Three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. That would be about right. So the neat thing is it starts and ends on the same calendar day. It's just, yeah. Hmm. yeah so so hey, that sounds like to, five minutes. Do you have to sign up for that? Uh, no, you, you just, just log in. in. You need to. I don't know how the sign up. Are you hosting, Cat? Are you going to be a host? No, no. I'm just going to be there with my tiaras on. So oh, cool. I believe. I believe. If you I might see you, if you go to the Global Skeptics in the Pub on the website. Right. Yeah, I'm there. I believe they are going to post the link as it gets closer to the time. They are not doing the link oh, yet okay. just because right. they don't want, you know. See, it says the Zoom and passcode needed to join will be posted here 24 hours before the Global Skeptics begins. Okay, okay. I don't see I don't see that. Hey, puppy. I see Skeptical, topic, Topics and Speakers. Okay, go, go Global Go to the global skeptics. Global in the pub. skeptics in the pub. Global. I don't know how y'all are going to do that. Everybody knows the Earth is flat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're pretending. Yeah, just look behind you at all that flatness. Okay, I see it now. Global it now? skeptics in the pub. Okay. Free yeah. event. Yeah. If if I can join, and it's uh, oh, okay. Passcode needed to join will be Which posted, will be posted here, the day 24 before. hours before the GSITP begins. Not necessary, no tickets. There are email. So I'm going to join so, in. 
we we gave a shout out um, to go on the Skeptic Zone this week about that. Yay! So did you guys like, do a shout out to to the other three Skeptic Camps that are coming up? One in Eugene, one in Seattle, and one in uh, Buffalo, New York. Cool beans. I knew about the one in New York. Yeah, there's one in yeah. Eugene and one in Seattle. Can I get my video back? You can if you think you can. No, I can't because it says the host has stopped it. Well, I haven't done anything. Uh, is that possible for the host to do that? Yeah, sure. I can do all kinds of cool things to you guys. Somebody else must have done it. He was probably doing something really offensive. So somebody else probably got rid of your video. I didn't do, I didn't anything, do anything, but it looks like if I can find you in this list, I can get granted back to you. I'll make you a co-host. How about that? I'm back now. Somebody, no, I, somebody took care of it. I, I did it because you walked away and left your video and your mic on, which is never a good idea. So I just <laughs> took everything. Yeah, no. it could be really, it could be a tubing. You better watch out. Um, so announcements quickly. The only thing I have, I am so behind on getting stuff done. But the only thing I have is I really like you guys to all watch this. This is just freaking hilarious. This is the um, the channel Think This Through. And this is... If you haven't been following, he's got another video out on, on that's before this. It's very, 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 very funny. But this one is just like, he just does Old. such a great job. I'm so proud of him. They're just wonderful. He only has 3,000 subscribers, which is, just feels insane. I'm one of them. Yeah, I am too. I actually, I am two of his because I, I was his thousandth subscriber. <laughs> on a different channel i saw he's at 999 so i used my other account to subscribe but it's they're just so well done and it's I, just I, I have to tell you what shocks me susan is he has such lower numbers of followers than the cfi website and his my video with rena has been up for like a lot longer and he's got more views than i do already well it's because the center for inquiry and i i've thought about this for a long time a lot of these places they have old historic um, subscribers from years ago and those people are all dead now <laughs> and you know they don't have they, they turn their little notification bell off or they don't watch videos or whatever but um, Coleman's is brand new so these are all recent people who are getting their notifications and stuff like that but yeah Center for Inquiry a lot of these things they've got JREF all that they, they've got tons of view tons of subscribers but they're not new they're probably been the channel's probably 15 years old maybe longer or whatever the beginning of youtube was so they don't have a, a young vibrant group that is turned on their their um notifications that's what i think it is so if you post your video on coleman's channel you'll have more views and besides this is terrence howard you weren't laying around drunk on a table or anything <laughs> like that. so if you want to do your next video your next interview and your and your and no you well, well like, but I interviewed I interviewed Coleman and it didn't get nearly uh, that well, many either known. so it CFI does just not do a good outreach job I don't know I'm not an outreach person I'm not a marketing person but there's something wrong there they want that traditional if you did a cringe cam I think no. you could do it I think you could do it that cringe cam is hilarious CFI does good outreach for a lot of things they do or they donate in here what you said I don't think they do. I just noticed hours. this a long time ago for conferences, you know, the small conferences, like the toolbox. And I went to one in <laughs> Boulder, and they had outstanding, amazing speakers. And there was about one person in the audience per amazing speaker. That's happening with the skeptic camps too. It's it's going to take a while to build up to the point where we can get well, this was do it. this was years ago. Yeah, I remember that's yeah. the only time they had it in Boulder. So all right, so we're back. Any yeah. um, so Rob? I know you have a toolbox. That was something hey. else, Carolyn. Yeah, yeah. So here is my video. Uh, my interview with the first speaker. I am. Uh, going to do a set of interviews with speaker, including Neil deGrasse Tyson has agreed to do a second one. Oh, good. We did it two years ago, so that's Ask cool. him about JSOW. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I watched that interview, Rob. It was very good. But you weren't, you didn't do a cringe cam. So it's not going to work. Okay, Carolyn, you had a, you had something you wanted to say. 
So real quick, um, as we've been talking before, Skeptical is next weekend, not this coming, but next weekend. Global Skeptics in the Pub is going to be Friday night, and you do not have to have tickets. Just check the website for the to link. The Friday night thing. Yeah, Friday. Yeah. Everything else you do. Everything else you do. Um, it's online. If you can't sit through it ever for the whole weekend, it's going to be recorded and you will have paid attendees will have a link to watch it. Um, our own Kyle is going to have a, be on a discussion with uh, Jay Diamond. Um, I'm going to chair a panel with uh, Melanie Teresa King, um, Dr. Carl Kruselniski. There you go. Um, That's Carl. <laughs> and uh, Erica Matthews uh, from Gutsit Gibbons um, on media literacy and the TikTok generation. Jeannie's done a panel on uh, misinformation in election year, etc. There's more people. Rob's going to do a lightning talk, right, Rob? Yeah, I uh, submitted it. If Jay plays it, you guys got it. Alrighty. So anyway, please get your tickets. Okay, great. Um, and anybody who's in GSW, like I said. We have a new member at GSOW. We haven't had a new member in weeks. Um, I mean, like months. So we have one now, and I hope you guys all go over and welcome that person to, to the team. I'll start training with you soon. Yeah. Who's going to do next week? Adrian. Oh, the whole show? Trivia? No, no. Oh, yeah. We do need we need categories for next week. Thank you. Um, so if anybody is, while I have you guys here, uh, I have nothing for next week. Is anybody up for it that normally wouldn't be? Next I can Thursday? do a bonus if you don't have anybody else who wants to. Okay, do I it. have nobody for bonus. Okay. All right. I know Carolyn will be busy. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's <laughs> yeah, no way. No way. All right. Oh, Karen's putting her hand up. Cool. She likes to be early. Maybe Romero can do one since he can't go walking anyway. He needs to be sitting down. Yeah, At least guess... running on a path that doesn't have rocks. Hush, y'all. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to do that. So uh, you are all my witness. I did my job. I announced it. I'm going to go now. <laughs> okay, bye, Carolyn. Yeah, Alan, did you say you'll do a category? Thank you Alan's for the category. Birthdays. Okay, Alan, you got a category. And did you, Romero, you said you're going to do a category? I can do one, yeah. Okay, so we just need one more. So we'll wait and see if anybody else that hasn't been doing them very often volunteers. All right, so let's let's go back to the game. So we have Jamie. I'm always ready to do one, Susan. Okay, got it. Um, Jamie, I'll put you down, Gail. Okay, all set? Yep. Today, we haven't done this in a long time. A mystery category. Okay. You have to think of the category. Oh no. Okay. God, this new Zoom has changed everything. Okay. All set? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, mystery category. Number one Lolium perenne is the formal scientific name of this popular, fast growing type of grass. It's the type of grass used on the tennis courts of Wimbledon. What is the common name of this grass? Okay. Number two. God, this is ridiculous. It's a very serious question. It is. Number two. In 1767, Englishman Joseph Priestley first discovered this drink by suspending a bowl of distilled water above a beer vat, causing the water to absorb the emitted gas. What is this drink commonly called? Number three. Hold on. I have to open and close chat every time I do this. Yeah, it's annoying. It's all changed. Okay, number get, three. Gotta get a multiple screens. That's the only way Jeez. I can do it. Yeah. Number three. In 1956, Samuel Shenton of Dover, England, created this organization as a successor to the Universal Detective Society. 
His primary aim was to reach young children before they learn scientific truths. Number four. <coughs> So sorry, in three, are you looking for? The name of the organization that he founded. Okay. <clears throat> Number four, originally developed to imitate the appearance of platinum for jewelry applications at a lower cost. This metallic alloy may have had or may have many different compositions. A popular type consists of 75% of the metal having the atomic number 79 and 25% of the metals, such as a combination of the metals having atomic numbers 28 and 30. Frequently, jewelry made of this alloy is plated with a thin film of the metal having its atomic number being 45. What is the common alloy called? Number five. <clears throat> five. This is the name of one of the most popular Thai rock bands ever, founded in 2001. It is also the common name of the popular starchy vegetable having the scientific name Solanum tuberosum. Number six. Uh -huh. That takes so long. Okay, number six. This is a method of curing meat. The name comes from Anglo-Saxon times before refrigeration, when meat was dry cured with coarse pellets of salt. Today, salt water brining has oftentimes replaced this dry curing technique. Number seven. This TV show won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Comedy Series in 1988. Running for six seasons, it depicted the social and family life of a boy of the Arnold family in middle-class suburban America during the 60s and 70s. Number eight. Let's go. Okay, number eight. This is Arizona's smallest official community with a formal population of only six. This popular Old West tourist destination originally came to prominence when Roseville Dam and Route 88 were being built in 1903, with the town being a rest stop for construction workers. It shares its name with one of John Steinbeck's famous novels. Number nine. The character name of the aging con artist theater producer in the hit Broadway show, The Producers, is what? Number 10. <clears throat> Number 10. What is the mystery theme? You couldn't come up with a 10th question, could you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did, but that's... <laughs> okay. What is the mystery theme? I was hoping it'd be something that would help me with the theme. <laughs> 
I was really counting on a tenth, tenth clue. <laughs> okay. Okay, can you send people? Can you help me send people out? Somebody want to do that for him? Yeah, so I don't have the yeah, I don't have the capability of doing it. It's hidden. It could be under more. Maybe he's on a it's tablet. Not, I'm on a tablet. When I hit more, I, it's, it doesn't exist. Okay, thank you, whoever did that. Oh, maybe host tools. That's like new. Cat. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> Okay. Hi, team. Hey, hello. How are you? <laughs> I will be of no help. Well, you know Steinbeck. One, I think I know, but that's it's a guess. You know Steinbeck. Yeah, it's the only one I think I know. Okay. But it's not helping with the theme. I'm not sure. So it's this grass. What kind of grass is it? What kind of grass is number one? Crab. I don't think it's crab grass. I think it's that very. Then... I think I know the theme. Oh, uh, come on. Go tell us yet. Yeah. Go through the go through the answers. Well, no, yeah, I, I, I give us the theme. If you know the you think you know the theme, that'll help if, us. If crabgrass is the correct answer, I, I don't think know I, what might it, it. I don't think it's crabgrass. Who said crabgrass? Alan well, did. I said crabgrass only because it's the only grass I know. It looks oh. like my lawn. Bermuda grass. There is why do you think it was crab? I mean, if it's crabgrass, what would because it because it's the only name I know? It's no, number five. Number five is potato, and number seven is the Wonder Years. So I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, I'm like the Wonder, wonder years. Bread. Seven is the. Seven is okay. Wonder Bread. No, like Wonder Years. The Wonder Years. Was that what that show was? Oh, could it be types of bread? Is that the one that potato had potato bread? It could be types of bread. Yeah. Could it be Michael J. Fox? Was he in that Wonder Years? No, that was no, it. that was uh um oh damn it. Hold on, this could be type of bread. This is type of bread. Number two is rye. Uh by the way, it's Fred Savage is the oh, guy uh was the right. actor. Savage. Uh, what? Right. Water, right? No, soda. now we got soda. it fast. Soda bread. Soda bread? Yeah, soda. Number two, soda. Soda? Okay, yeah. soda. Not rye? Not rye. Let's see think... soda. Okay. I think number one is rye. Does it have to be rye more grass? specific? Can, can grass be rye grass? I think yeah. so. Then it's rye. Rye grass. It's a cereal, isn't it? That can the that can the drink be rye then? No, oh, it's gonna be soda. soda, like soda bread, Irish soda bread. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, number three. Okay. Um Samuel Shenton of Dover, England Care Organization. I have no idea. Well, name some different kinds of breads. We've got wheat, rye, pumpernickel. Pumpernickel. Oh, pumpernickel's a good one. Um, potato. Pota uh, we already got potato bread. Which one's potato? Sunbeam, because there's sometimes there's brands. Potato is number five. I've never heard of that. Um, brioche bread. What well, what are we looking at? What what uh, what sourdough. number? Sourdough. Sourdough. Sourdough bread. We're naming breads, <laughs> Alan, so that we can see if one of them fits one of these cat with these questions. Well, number six, I was thinking of beef jerky, but group, scroll down, scroll down though. Brining. Could that Sour. be brining? Sour? No. I'll make number seven in the Okay, let me think of eight. Okay, hold on. What number did you say was the potato? Five. The Turkish people. It was five. Yeah, okay. I was wondering. Okay, could you jump there? Okay, Arizona shares its name with John Steinbeck's famous novels. One of them. East of Eden? That's not a bread. Um, wheat bread, pumpernickel. Grapes of wrath. Grapes of wrath. Grape. There's wrath no grape bread. bread, is there? <laughs> no, but that's uh, that's not a town, right? Grapes. Well, it could be grapes of wrath. Could be a town. But is that in the novel? Was that a town? No, it's it's about it shares the name with the book, a novel. Oh, what about pearl? 
Mm, no, oh. and it's a novel, and I Pearl. I think the Pearl was a short story. A novel would be like, you know, one of his long I mean, ones, like yeah. East of Eden or um, Grapes of Wrath or Mice and Men. No, that's not a novel, or maybe it was of Mice and Men. Is there a Leopold bread? There are mice and mm, of mice and corn men. bread. Was there a corn? Travels with Charlie. That's not a novel. Maybe a ten we can put bread. That's okay. Yeah, types of bread. Max and Leopold, the names of the con artists. I thought it wasn't Bielstock, Bielstock or something. Um, Max Bielstock. But Leopold, I guess, was the accountant. And tried curing technique. With a tried curing technique. So you can't think of any way you can make East or Eden fit as bread or grapes bread? wrath. Um, um, grape bread I, is there a grape bread i can't think of it grapes i guess i don't know or cereals i don't know what's the what's the what's the uh the bridge make at christmas with all the uh with all oh. the uh... anatone you're no. talking about that the oh, fruit that's fruit, not, that's fruit. never right. mind that's fruit cake that's fruit cake i'm trying to look and see if i see my my uh, steinbach books on the shelf <laughs> um this is hard jamie no we got the theme that's all right i think it's the theme it is the theme what is the method of curing meat where you um like when you make beef jerky could you no. salt it you you no. brine it you you don't brine it. What you do, this is where you would like pack salt on top. What do you do with yeast? What do you do with the um Zoom it? Yeah, but I can't see my Steinbeck books. Let's go to the bathroom. Oh, there they are. There they are. Okay. I can't see them well enough to see. Um I think there's a grape bread. There is a grape bread. <laughs> grape. I, I have a feeling I've there is. I've never heard of it, but okay. there's a town called Grapes. It's called Grapes of Wrath. Grapes of Wrath, Arizona. Yeah, it's only got six people grapes, in it. Grapes, grapes, Arizona. No, it'd be Grapes of Wrath. There's only six people. What do you think? <laughs> that sounds like an old west thing. Um, well, does it have to be the whole name? It doesn't necessarily have to be. Yeah, it says it shares great. the name with one that? of John Steinbeck's famous novels. Then yeah. how? Then how? Do you know any you other guy? Do you know any other Steinbeck novels? Yeah, no. I, I've been naming them, but nothing makes sense. The, famous the novels of John Steinbeck are East of Eden and um, Grapes of Wrath and mm -hmm. The Pearl and Canary Row. Who wrote yeah. uh, the old man in the sea? Was that no, that that's was not, that's on Steinbeck. Um, okay. I think it's grapes of wrath, and I think there's a grape bread, and we just don't know anything about it. When you go to a really fancy place to eat, like breakfast, and they say, "What kind of bread would you like that on?" And what are the some of the choices they give you? Wheat, rye, sour bread. I just ask for fresh, <laughs> white, yeah. um, brown. Baguette. Pumpernickel, pumpernickel, baguette, um, um, croissant, croissant. Um, brioche bread. I, I'm gonna put grapes of wrath because I can't think of what else it would be. Because I'm sure there's a. I wouldn't be shocked if there was a town that was called Grapes of Wrath. And and that sounds very Arizona. Hmm. Okay, who is the character in the producers? I've never seen the producers. I don't know what that show. Is. Yeah, I've never heard of that show. Do you? I've seen it. What's it about? Okay, so name some more breads. Could it be sourdough or pumpernickel? 
Uh, uh, oh, now there's a uh, uh, Bialy is a uh, is a sort of a role. Bialy sock. There we go. What? There we go. There we go. Bialy. They're like Jewish bagels. Yeah, English they're, they're like a long. Uh, okay. So oh, what is that? we are on the right track. Okay. What about challah bread? Chala, shut oh. up. Shut up. Chala, chala. Wait, wait, wait. Chala. Yeah, let's have what answer is that for? Which one is the producer's question? That's number no. nine. Okay. Is that what's the answer for nine? Bialy. Bialy. How do you spell it? B I A L Y. Yeah, something like that. Like bagels and Bialy. There's a. Uh, Never there's heard a... Of that before. It's it's a cross between an English muffin and a bagel, and it's really it's higher in protein, and I buy them because I discovered them at Wegmans. How about um, muffin? Is so there is a challa bread. Bialy right? stock. Okay. There is a challenge. Okay, go to question four. Go to question four. Um, question four. An alloy. Is it it's like bread. Paladin? Is it paladin that's an alloy? Hello, Ozzy. Did you respond to paladin? Could it be Kala? Kala, you mean Kala? Yeah, Kala bread. Is there an alloy called Kala? I don't know. I've heard of it. Is there a bread called Kala? <laughs> Is there a bread called um, palladium? Palladium. Well, there's there's platinum and there's right, but yeah. they mimic platinum. platinum bread. Bag baglium. Oh God! Fool's gold. What would be brass bread? Tin Pyr bread? Like... Pyr Pyruby. Pyridium. <laughs> Remember whenever you would get like a piece of jewelry and it was just crap and it made your finger turn green? What was it we used to say? What kind of, what was it? They're like, that's crap. What's wrong with it? Is it nickel? What was it that we'd say that was wrong? There with would it? be nickel in it. Yeah. Was it nickel that make your finger turn green? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not copper, right? It was. I thought it was something that was even worse than nickel. Some kind of like, um. um well, that's a. They'd be well, like copper hey, does turn. Crap. Copper turns green. Yeah, but copper would be expensive. All right, we, we don't need to figure out three, four, six, and eight. Okay, the Universal green. Zetetic Society. His primary aim. How about? Well, I was thinking of Dover. Is there is there a Dover bread? Well, Dover. Why would you, Dover? No, there's not a Dover bread. Maybe in Dover. For what number is that? Three. Number three. This was a group. Um, was to reach young children before they learn scientific truths. What about the Montessori group? Is that them? No. Shelton. Dover. I don't know if Montessori is a type of bread. Well, if nothing else, I think it's Dover and then we could just maybe Could it be bread. like white society or something? Yeah, I'm thinking like white, there's be white bread and there's wheat bread. But we really appreciate number nine because I have some of those in my freezer and that was genius. Oh, good. If it's correct. Yeah. If it, it, it is correct. It <laughs> is correct. Uh, the, number three has got to be a religious, a religious related thing. Could, so could there be, of... could be a wheat society like a, like a, <laughs> you know, that has that, doesn't wheat have a, like a, like on your penny, you have a penny, it's a weedy. Yeah, let's call it the Wheat Society. Well, what do you call the, is it the host? What do you call the bread, the bread and the wine at the, uh, for communion? Uh, the yeah, the the host, I guess. Communion, communion wafer? A yeah, little, little bit of Jesus. Okay, so white bread. So we've got wonder bread. Was that the Wonder Years? That was yeah. the Wonder Years. Okay, number six is the is the like beef curing meat. Yeah, it's where you would um salt packs down. Do you know what I'm salt packs? Yeah, you would pack salt on top of it. What is salt, Peter? Uh, it's it's that not, you give to men so... to make them so that they can't get erections. But yeah. I don't know if it's the pseudoscience or if it's bread? real. I never heard of that. A man who got a saltpeter was <laughs> a bad thing. 
I think. Um, could this be number six? Could it be the wafer that we we're talking about? The the oh soda bread or like um unleavened bread? Matzah. Well, matzah. Un unleavened bread like um it's matzah. So like yeah, from the Passover, right? Matzah. It's another kind of bread. That's the only type of bread in Passover. Yes, yes, you're 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 right on that one. Yeah, Romero, you're right on that one. Okay. So how are you guys doing? We need we got two. three. Okay. So Susan, you want to go? Doing? You want to start the timer? Yeah. How's everybody else doing? Yeah. Some some teams have done extremely well. Some. Not so well. I like that. I like it whenever they so fall the flat place. on their face. <clears throat> um, unleavened. Could there be an alloy that has something to do with unleavenedness? Or I'm going to put grapes of wrath for number eight because that's what you came up with. Great bread. Great I told you. bread. All right. What other what other numbers do we need? We need, we need six, six and four. And we need four. So for four, put, well, we could put white on both of those. <laughs> but what did we put? Did we have an alloy or something? Did we have come some? Did it be white gold? Rye. Did we come up with Ooh, rye? For let's rye. put white gold. Okay. White gold. Ooh, that's at least an alloy of some sort. <laughs> and, the white okay. bread. So six and then is number the... six, what, um, Curing meat with pellets. Can we fit rye bread rye anywhere? We, rye is number one. Rye grass. Oh, that was the uh, that was the uh, drink or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Name a bread that we haven't used yet. Pumpernickel. We haven't used pumpernickel. We okay. So the number five. six put pumpernickel. Wheat. Okay. Wheat. Yeah. We've already used wheat, haven't we? I don't think so. Have we? No, we haven't. No. Okay, so number six is put wheat. We also haven't used um, brioche. But isn't brioche the thing that's with, with the stuff on it? Brioche is not just the the bread. Oh. What? Oh, Three. corn. Corn. Like corned beef. Oh, cornbread. Corn well, bread. we haven't put it For down. Which one? Three. 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 Pick a spot corn and put it there. Six. Six. Corning. Six. Six, okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's it. Okay. And at seconds to go, like two seconds to go. Good job. I can't believe Good. it. Okay. That. Okay, you guys all finished? Yeah. Yeah, this was uh this was hard for us. See, okay, so number one, the common type of grass that's used at Wimbledon is rye grass. Oh, oh that's the rye. Man. Dang it. That's where it should have went. Uh, in fact, when you when you grow grass, you put rye because it grows fastest. So it establishes. So yeah. when you plant like Kentucky bluegrass, you always put rye in it. Oh, I got the theme Probably. now. Well, the crabgrass on our lawn grows fast. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, the the type of drink, what it's commonly called is soda. That's how soda was developed. Okay. Number three. The organization uh, created by Samuel Shinton was the International Flat Earth Society. Oh! What? Flat Earth. Flat Society. Earth? Yeah. Oh, that's I say you guys don't pay attention. Three and a half years ago, I had that as an answer to one of my... <laughs> <laughs> well, we thought we had it with the it was, week. What? Yeah, well, Rob, did, did you get it right? No. Rob, did Flat you get it right? Yes. Yes, I did. We had Wheat Society. <laughs> we pay attention, we just forget. How do you guys would get flat? Number four, um, the metal that's used in jewelry, the alloy is to white gold. Yes! That's how you make white gold. We All got right. it. Yeah. Good one, Kevin. Yay. Number five, the name of the most popular band here is Potato. Mm. Oh, we overthought right. it. <laughs> Not sweet potato, just, just potato. What if we put sweet potatoes? <laughs> nope. That's not the no, it has to be just, just potato. Uh, That's what we did. We I gave know. The scientific like, name. 
Yeah, just potato. Oh, Number man. six, the method of curing meat is like corned beef. Corn, oh. corning. Oh. Yes! Corn yeah. beef. Oh. Faith came yeah. up with that yeah. two yeah. seconds. Yeah. Two seconds uh, before. Can we quit yeah. loafing around and get to the rest of the answers? Oh, <laughs> hey, I'm right any way you slice it, okay? <laughs> Number seven, the Primetime Emmy Award show is The Wonder Years. Number eight, this John Steinbeck novel and the little tiny town is Tortilla Flat. Yay. Yay. Tortilla Jane, Flat. coming through in the I'm end. Karen. Oh. We, Number nine. We grapes I'm breakfast. sorry, you guys. Uh, I completely. Tortilla flat. Number wow. nine. The character is Max Bialystok. Bialystok and Bialy. Bialy's Bialy the Blue. best. Max Bialystok. <laughs> and the mystery theme is bread. Each one of these is bread. White bread, rye bread, Bialy, tortilla. So we white can't bread. put nickel for what? number four. There's nickels of bread, right? <laughs> Nickel oh Names my are god, I can't. I am Humper so Nickel, embarrassed you know? that I didn't remember. <clears throat> Humpernickel. Oh, Humpernickel. We did awful. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All Pretty right, sure let's go. The to the score. We did better than I thought. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, did you put the answers in? Oh, yeah. Okay. All mm -hmm. right, so we've got a score from 10 to 15. Let's see how we did. Four hot women and maybe Vincent. How'd you do? Well, we're down to two hot women. <laughs> and um, that matches our score of two. Wow. <laughs> You're roaring up there now. Dang. Okay, Mexico sends us criminals to the U.S. This was Jamie's team. We got eight. That's and true. Romero <laughs> thinks that you're wrong, that tortilla <laughs> is not a bread. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> it's it's. Oh, no. The big question is: Is a hot dog Florida. a sandwich? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a hot dog is a sandwich. sandwich. There we go. <laughs> okay, we don't need more time. We send it to Trump to go directly to jail. Well, despite you guys whacking Deborah off of our team, we got six. How what? did we get Deborah off your team? She disappeared. Cut off the power to her home. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, f I forgot. I do that with my mind, and sometimes I just get a little confused. Sometimes, get well, Mark. We got a six. Yes. Wow, we got a triple triple um, tie Dang. for Dang. second place. And but he didn't address the sharks and batteries. We had ten. Mm -hmm. Wow. And Dang. I need some of the answers. Because I had a year of four inches. Or... Oh, this is your category, Hudgeny. It was. Forget the movie one. This is yours. Ooh. Well, oh, and Gail, Gail knew food, and I need, I knew props. I forgot to put my answers in the chat. Do you need them, Susan? I'm gonna need a minute. I gotta plug my computer. <coughs> um, I don't need them, but yeah. I gotta get that number. Nine. I always like having answers. Yeah, I got mixed up. I thought it was sweet potatoes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, did you get tortilla flat? Yeah. 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 Karen got that. Karen knew that one. I I just got stuck on grapes of wrath or. Uh, what? But isn't potatoes. isn't sweet potatoes a better band name than potatoes? Come on. I agree, Rob. I think we should get a. Yeah. I want to see this. Or I'm gonna potatoes. I'm gonna watch one of the videos. After. Um. No, I <laughs> potatoes it's not, are perfect. It's, it's the only name. Uh, Novel I could think of, which a short story maybe that sounded like a town name. Cool. Yeah. Well, I could see an old well, west kind of name. tortilla. I mean, an old west kind of grapes of wrath kind of town in Arizona. It's only got nine people in. I thought maybe it would attract more tourists if it had, <coughs> you know, yeah. like they sell uh, the depression era that you travel candy with. and depression era and <laughs> Steinbeck books or something and old jalopies and you could take out <laughs> Granny. Granny would drive with you for a while to on the top of the stack of the car. <laughs> something, I don't know. <laughs> Granny just goes one way and then somebody brings her back. <laughs> oh my God. What? <laughs> I'm thinking this is of, punchy. Oh, I'm thinking there's, of the Beverly Hillbillies where they had them all piled up on the car. That was so stupid. With Granny up on the top with, with the rocking chair. Yeah. <laughs> that was awful. She's in the rocking chair. <laughs> It was so stupid. Okay. Anyway, very, very, very demeaning of Granny, but 
it was it was popular in the day. Well, there's the story about the grandmother who died in the middle of the vacation, and they wrapped her up and put her on the roof of the car, and then the car got stolen. Oh, <laughs> oh. I don't well, know how it ended, but that. <laughs> well, Romney put his dog on the top on the top of his car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, the good old days when we had Romney to be that was the worst of our oh geez I don't we know. from putting your that dog in a really carrier awful. on top of the car to shooting your dog in the face oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and your goat don't forget about the goat and you're right about it you brag about it she's like I gotta do two all right Kevin you're up he's putting his computer together oh that's right okay perfect timing yeah I knew it she's psychic I tell you. You know that. Questions? Don't you mean psychotic? Uh, it's kind of something we've kind of done a couple of times before, but it's a different twist on it. It's uh, real names of people. I'm going to give you their real name, and you tell me what their their new, like, well-popular name is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Real okay. names, and I'm giving you hints. They are, all the questions are, like, hints. Mm -hmm. So it's called Real Names with Hints. <laughs> Question number one. What flavor coffee does Robert Matthew Van Winkle drink? I'm going to do a few at a time now. Question number two. What did Stanley Kirk Burrow buy at the hardware store? Question number three. What did Jason Bradley DeFord buy at the bakery? Number four. What kind of candy does Marshall Bruce Mathers III like? Okay. Question number five. What did Carol Elaine Johnson buy at the joke shop? Number six, if Sean Corey Carter could play his two-letter initials in the game Scrabble, he would score 18 points. What are his initials? Number seven, if Peter Jean Hernandez, what is, what is Peter Jean Hernandez's favorite planet? And eight, nine, and ten. You want the name? Alicia Beth Moore's favorite color. These people all, these were their birth names. Now they have more famous mm -hmm. names. Yeah, but do you want us to give us their... The famous name. Like, okay. okay. I'll tell you one that I got isn't. You. I got you. Okay. Now I'm actually confused because Seven says, I got it. what is his favorite planet? You don't write the planet? No, those are his. But that's Rob. part of his name. What? You, you'll these figure it out. Hints. It's they, 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 hints are, Yeah, you can figure it out. Rob, we got it. Right. What is Alicia, Alicia Beth Moore's favorite color? What kind of gas does Mark Sinclair use? Number 10 is a little complicated. It's got a bonus in there. There's three answers. Any one will get you a point. Two will get you a bonus point. Three is bragging rights. So there's three answers for the number 10. Tracy Lauren Marrow bought drinks for himself. So his name. His friend Shay, O'Shea Jackson and Curtis Jackson III. What did he buy and how much change did he get? One point for any one correct answer, one for a bonus. And if you get all three, you just get bragging rights. You can you could score a bonus point in that one in that one. And now that's it. You shouldn't have any questions because they're all hints. If you know who the people are, you'll get it. If not, you can kind of figure out by the hint who a celebrity is that has some sort of name related to that. Right. But you don't actually want the answer to the question. Uh, you just want the actual name. Yes. Correct. Person, which person. is I want the answer to the question, but it's got the guy's name or the girl's name in it. You know what I mean? It's when you okay. say the, the we got it. We got it, Rob. This, yep. When you say the celebrity name, it'll have the answer built in. We'll explain it to you, Rob. Right. Let's see how to do this. You want me to do it, Kevin? No, uh, there's a I done it before and I just can't seem to find the uh it's under more breakout rooms, open all rooms. I don't under participants, maybe. No breakout rooms. I don't think I have the power. I've got you covered. 
Uh, Cat's on it. Uh, I can't jump around, Susan. You got to give me some power. Oh, that's yeah. right. He's Susan's got to right. make you co-host. There it is. I open up the room. There it is. I got it now. I see breakout rooms. Okay, so you, somebody gave you powers. I don't mean to form. All of them, but I don't Oh, that's right. We got Susan. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, let's start with number one. Okay. Uh, number one is um, vanilla ice. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I'll wait and see if you know uh, any, so I'll let you answer the ones that you know before I say nothing the... to me at all. You don't know yeah. any of them? I, I've got nothing a couple. Of, I'll let you know when I hit when we reach one. I don't think I can move to another room there. Susan. Why not? I thought they just gave you permission. I can leave room. I'll you see what happens. Leave. I'll see what happens when I leave the room. Leave breakout room. Okay, so you're you're up now, Jane. Uh, MC Hammer. Ah. Number three, I do not know, so that's on you too. <laughs> okay, well, we'll we'll come up with something. Okay. <laughs> Number four, I do know, but I'll let you guys answer. Oh, that that yeah, that's M and M. Yeah, I can only join room four. Well, that is making sense. I'm just telling you, I tried to leave, I le left in it. I said, join rooms and. I so you don't go. have the permissions? No. Okay, so go into the main room and I will give them, I have to go to the main room too. Okay, so number five, Karen Elaine Johnson, by. See the breakout rooms button, that's all. There you go. You got it now. Breakout rooms. Oh, yes, I do. I got to go into Ron, uh, Rob's room. I want to see him get all flustered about the questions. Been once. Four inch gash down my leg thanks to the stupid cat. Okay, uh, let's see. Sean Corey Carter, two letter initials. Number number six. He he wrote this wrong because he does not go by initials. He actually. Well, I'll let you, I'll, I'll explain after you know the answer. Yeah, I, I didn't, that one I do not know, so. Um, well, let me read what he wrote. Uh, well, I, I don't know. It's, it's Jay-Z, unless I'm making a mistake, it's Jay-Z, but he spells his but name J-A-Y. Yeah, Z-E-E. -E. Well, I, I think it's just... Oh, that's it. He does do it with the Z. You're right. And I th I could be making a mistake about who it is, but, you know... Well, that's 18 it's, points. I think it's Sean Carter, and I... Th I th well, that, that is 18 is. points in Scrabble, so J and okay. Z. Because it's well, Z's 10 he, and J's 8. He actually 8. spells his name J-A-Y. Right. Z. So I think he was a little mistaken... But it works, so we'll take that. Now I'm looking at seven and thinking it's either Bruno Mars or it's Freddie Mercury, but well, actually it's not Freddie Mercury, and I but I don't know who it is. Yeah, I didn't didn't think that was Freddie Mercury's real name, but I'm wondering, is that Bruno Mars? I don't oh, I didn't realize that was muted. You're talking about seven? Yeah. Venus. I mean, trying to think of planets, and the only ones I can think of are Mercury for Freddie Mercury and Bruno Mars for Mars. Pluto. Yeah, I mean, I can't think of anybody. Venus. Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. So, I mean, those are the only two ones I can come up with. So, I'm thinking maybe it's Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars makes sense. Yeah, it does. Alicia Beth Moore. I think we're back to ones you know. I do know. You want me to say? 
It's yeah. pink. It's pink. Um, Ooh. Okay. And I do not know number nine. Okay, what kind of gas? So I'm or trying Sinclair, to figure out this. Sinclair was a kind of gas. Yeah, it's a gas. It's, it's a company, I but. Know. So I don't get this, really. Well, I don't know if it's gas as in a brand of gas or a type of gas. Like xenon, argon, whatever. Or is it SO, Sunoco, you know, those sorts of things. But I'm not thinking of either type. Yeah, it could be, yeah. I'm trying to think of various gases that are out there that there's somebody with that name. Yeah. Argon, xenon, methane. Well, and then number 10... Yeah, I know two of these. Okay, well, there's our, our, we don't get the bragging rights just yet, but so what do you got? Do you want to try any of them? I looked at it and it, w it was not working okay, for like, me. Rat drinks for himself and his friend Shane. I don't know. For some reason, these aren't hitting home with me. I'm thinking it's the three and then some things that's a drink or the something trio. 50 cents? Well, okay. So the, here's what I was going to say. I want to reword when I said I know two of them. What I was going to say is I know one of them and I have a really good guess for one of them. And the one that I have a guess for is 50 cents. So that let's go with that for uh, my guess on the one for the change was 50 cent that makes sense and Ooh. and then the one that i know is tracy lauren marrow is iced tea oh there's the drink okay that works so we're missing number three and number. Oh, wait, did we put down something? Oh, no, three and nine. So what do you buy at a bakery? So something with like bread or cake. Or we just had bread. What? We just had bread. Yeah. Hmm. Cupcakes. What are some gases? Yeah, I've been trying to think oxygen, nitrogen, the, the inert gases like xenon. Uh, these could be people we don't. Yeah, I bet. What about? Abbreviations like O2, CO, oh, um, Am I in the wrong room? Oh, is that what happened? You disappeared? Because you disappeared from our room. Disappeared, yes. No, no. Um, I closed uh, Zoom. For some strange this reason. This is the main oh. room. Well, yeah. we were down to the we wire there, Vincent. We need you. You need a few minutes more, a minute more? I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't think no, we're, we're gonna okay. No, we're okay. Oh, yeah. I was no help. As per usual. Sorry, team. Pat rocked it. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> Which is 
The answer for number one is Vanilla Ice. Way to go, Cat. Answer for number two is MC Hammer. Oh, I did go, Adrian. I came up with that one. Oh. I got one. <laughs> number three is Jelly Roll. Woo! Oh. Good job. Number four is Eminem. Ooh, Eminem. Yeah. Number five is Whoopi Goldberg for the Whoopi Cushion. Yay. Number six is Jay Z. Or Jay Z. Okay, you Canadian <laughs> Jay Zs. <laughs> Number seven is Bruno Mars. Oh. oh no. Number eight is not Betty White. It's pink. Hey. Of course. Oh, cool. of course. Uh, number nine is Vin Diesel. Diesel is a type of gas. Oh. Type no, it's not, fuel. but that's okay. Gasoline. <laughs> yes, it is. V it's a gasoline. fuel. It is not gasoline. Two it's separate. a type of gasoline. No, it's, it's not. Okay, number 10 is Ice Tea, Ice Cube, and 50 Cent. Ice Cube. Oh. Ice Cube. I, think I got, got some two tens out of the three. We got one of them, right? I got two out of the three. Yeah, and I got, got 50 Cent. 50 Cent. Fitty. Fitty. Yeah, Fitty. Fitty Cent. Fifty. He changed his name Fitty. to Fitty. F-I-D-D-Y. Fitty. 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 Fitty Cent. So we got some scores? Yeah, hold on a second. I'm, you ran them off so fast, and I have to put them in the... Oh. Um, you got zero there. Scores. We're going to win now. I'll put the yeah. answers in the, in the chat, too. <laughs> yeah, they're in there. Well, thanks to uh, Karen. We got all of them. Karen is a ringer. Yeah, Karen, do it. Well, Jane knew it in R. So okay, yeah. so I just, I just asked AI just for, for your information, uh, Kevin. I mean, it doesn't matter because we knew what you meant, but just for your reference, don't ever go into a gas station when you need diesel and say put gas in it. No. Oh, no, boom. It's having a hallucination. It's mm -hmm. thicker and more energy dense. Yeah. yeah. Unless it's. Unless, oh, yeah. unless it is Father Ted and you and you want to fuel up Bishop Brennan's car and he uses diesel. And what? You I put gas in there. <laughs> and, Scar and it's scars, really please. It's very funny. You have to, anyway. See, I remember things. Oh, scores. Okay. <laughs> you forgot that, though. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, scores. So let's start off with uh, four hot women and maybe Vincent. Mm -hmm. See how you did. Eight. Hey, that's not bad. Better. You have to Thank you, five. Kat. I got one out of those. <laughs> okay, we don't need more time. Despite Susan's help, we got nine. Ooh. <laughs> Thank Lack you, of Jane. Help, I would have talked him out of it. My <laughs> citizens is criminals to the U.S. Uh, we got 11, but we'll take a 10. Dang. Okay. Yeah. Get well, Mark. We also got 11, but we'll take 10. But he didn't address the sharks and batteries. Well, we'll make it a trifecta. We got everything. But we have 11. <laughs> All the things. That was a fun category. That was, that really was too easy. Too that easy. Was fun. It fun. was so much fun, though. I enjoyed it. I don't know. <laughs> it. It, in the end, it's easy, but it's not necessarily wasn't necessarily easy when we started working on it. It became easy, and yeah. therefore it was super fun. Yeah, Our, was ours fun. was easy thanks to Karen because oh, she Karen. knew all the answers. I don't even know half. No, of the I, you got some, Ben. You got some. I got a couple, could... but you knew a lot more of those names than I did. I know. I'm embarrassed. I, I thought when she said Jelly some Roll, she was making before, it too. up. Pop culture. <laughs> Nobody's named Jelly Roll. Yeah. Oh, he's so There's charming. Jelly Martin. Yeah. Jelly Roll looks like he's like really a tough dude. He is like a big old neck tattoos guy. and yeah. He All looks right. like he, he eats a lot of Jelly Rolls. Well, I was I volunteering. Mean, I think it was the jazz guy. Wasn't there a Jelly Roll Morton? The, yes. uh, a jazz, a jazz guy. Yeah. One of the, you know one of the developers of jazz. Yeah. You were saying cat. I was voluntold to do this bonus category. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And <laughs> since Susan likes them hard, <laughs> and I got voluntold. Mm, does she? You know it. <laughs> Let's not get dirty. 
what do we can? I, I, I'm going to be a little mean in my bonus. Good. Because we got, yeah. We're very tightly packed. We need to be spread out. Now, quite honestly, all y'all should be getting tens. But. So give us tens. No, you have to earn it. Yeah. My bonus is you have to name 10 feature length movies, so not shorts, feature length That's movies that Keanu Reeves appeared in. Not necessarily starred in, but appeared in. Full titles are required for oh. sequels. You can't just say one, two, three. And mano rules apply. I'm oh, oh, mano. <laughs> Dang it. But unlike Susan last week, you have over 80 movies to choose from. So You're every team could still get 10 points what? with mono rules. Huh. There's 76 theatrical releases. No one's ever got 10 movies. points with mono rules. <laughs> I have totally never heard of 10 points. He couldn't possibly have done 80 over 80 movies. That's in. ridiculous. Notice it's in count different languages. In. In. He doesn't have to have started no, in them. 80 he has to have in them. You, it has to be. Oh, so we can't include TV movies? Yeah, there's seven TV movies and seventy six theatrical releases. Okay, but so they are the feature Keanu lengths, Reeves? not the shorts. Okay, I agree. Any other questions before I send you off to your rooms? Yeah, who's Keanu Reeves? Um, yeah, <laughs> he's my boyfriend. Yes. No, <laughs> <laughs> you've all been very, very naughty, and Ooh. therefore I'm sending you to your rooms. Oh my okay. gosh! So okay. <laughs> what? Okay, well, no, he was in a made-for-TV oh. version of a of a Shakespeare play. Does that count? I TV movies count, so long as they are full length. Well, now that you've said it. <clears throat> but mono <throat> rules apply, so. I need to be assigned. Oh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> My only job. It's the only thing I'm doing here. I don't do anything yet. Room four. So, uh, is it okay if I'm not a scribe, or do you want me to scribe? I don't know any of these. <laughs> well, there's the Matrix. The Matrix Reloaded. Knock knock. The Matrix. The Matrix Reloaded. Yeah. Wasn't he in the Matrix thing? Oh, am I, I? Did you not hear me say that? Yeah, yeah. But I thought there was another one that was Matrix yeah. related. It's called The Matrix Reloaded. And, you know, everyone's going to say, oh, we can't pick that, so we better pick it. And what, what did you say, Greg? I'm hoping Greg remembers. Oh, Greg's going to hear. Yeah. Okay, thank goodness. Okay. Yeah. Do me knock, proud, knock. team. Do me proud. Knock, knock. <laughs> Wasn't there something about a river, too? Was mm -hmm. he in a Western? A river? Well, uh, we're up to four, cat. <laughs> Come on, you talked with Kat this summer all about the so, movie. He starred in one that was quite old and very controversial. Okay, let's my own, pri my own private Idaho. Oh, I've heard of that. My own yeah. private Idaho. Oh. My no, own. There was no singing in it, I guarantee you. Just was he in what Team. about John Wicks? Come on. John Wicks. John Wicks. Yeah. Was he in the grape one? Um, the um the one Wait, with the there, we have to know the full name okay but the first one was just called john wicks right Rick. wick did you get uh my my private my own yeah my private. own private idaho yes i have that yeah. right now. thank you thank you vincent that i have no idea that's never... a good one nobody oh, thinks, unless that's the one that um it's old um no, they have names. They? Yeah, they have names. You can't just go John Wick one, two, River, three. River comes Phoenix. up with. River Phoenix was in that one before he killed himself. How about um? Okay. Yeah. Mm. So he wasn't in that other movie. Um. Uh, what's wrong with Gilbert Grape? <laughs> Was he in that? Uh, What's no. wrong? God, he's about 80. We never know. What was the third Matrix movie called, Greg? The Matrix, can we just end this now already? <laughs> so did you say what's wrong with Gilbert Grape? Is that what it was called? I don't know if that's a... Hmm. 
I, I don't really know who Canoe 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 Great Reeves is. Oh, well. oh, the bus one. Um, the ones that speed? go. On... Speed. Is speed? he in that? No, it was it Speed? It was Speed. Yes, he, he was, was in that. Speed. Yeah. 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 I didn't and there were it. there were two movies of Speed, Speed. Two. Was it just Speed Two? Speed. Can we just get this over with? Yep. Yeah, that's what. It the, was Matrix uh, the Matrix. The uh, Matrix Resurrection is another one. So we uh, might have some of those knocked out. Oh, oh, was he? You know what else he was in? What? He was in that wedding one. Um, My big fat Greek wedding? No, 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 no. It was a, it was a serious thing. Uh, no, that was Bernadette Pungabudsman. Ah, Bernadette Cumberbatch. Yeah, that was him. <laughs> okay. It uh, wasn't Canuva Reeves. It wasn't Canoe Reeves. <laughs> Keanu? Keanu. Keanu, whatever. Yeah. Jesus. Ah. Yeah, dude. Um, oh, he God. ain't my bud. You know, if he was hanging out with me, okay. <laughs> but no, he. I, what has he ever done for me? Why should I know his name? Apparently, Keanu Reeves is the nicest guy you can Yeah, ever. yeah, whatever. Oh, um, yeah. he, I, I, I don't see him calling me. Is he one of my Facebook friends? Yeah. No. <laughs> is he helping promote GSOW? No. Just making movies all the time, getting rich. He um, is uh, He is a skeptic, the same as us. Yes. Yeah. Well, where is he? You show up well, at Psycom, we'd get some big numbers, wouldn't we? Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's fine. Jeez, but he can't he has too much money. He can't he can't come to Psycon. Could you imagine? Oh my god. Cat would go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think this is quite lovely that she's somebody doing... should ask him. No. Yeah. Um we but... have ten answers, but we just don't know if that's what's wrong with Gilbert Grape is actually I'm sure he's been in westerns. He's got that kind of look, you know. You can see him. Oh, in a, I don't like, recall. Like a how about he was on Happy Days? Everybody's been on Happy. That's Days. not a movie, though. Even oh. James Randi was on Happy Days. Wow. James Randi was on Happy Days. Mm -hmm. he sure was. You could look it up. And the Fonz. I think he, he did an escape trip. Oh, something. that's cool. Yeah, I'm too tired to look anything up right now. <laughs> I'm going to look. <laughs> I'm so tired. So I have no idea. I think we've got 10 at least. So whether or not we get any points, who knows with the mono rules. Good for her. Yeah. She said she just learned about mono rules a couple weeks ago. She'd never, she didn't know that because she wasn't here with the, the, the beginning, right? So, oh. so yeah. she's like, oh, this is something new. Okay. I sure like it. Uh, so we're gonna do mono rules, or uh, uh, I used to call them scattergory rules because scattergory uses those rules. Yeah. Uh... It happy days. Isn't happy days just called happy days? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. let's see. If it that, but up. that was a TV show. Yeah, yeah. that's why I'm looking at that. But he was in. He was in it. But I don't know which episode because I put James Randi, then I put Happy Days, and it's pulling up all kinds of stuff that. It, because you know, happy and days are very common. Right, it's very common, yeah. Um, uh, I remember watching that show many, many, many. Yeah, I did too. Ago. God. Actually, it was in uh, syndication when I started watching it. I can't find him. There's Cat from Canada. Wow. So we have ten with motto rules. We probably we may not do very well. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. But it was fun. And Greg, I love motto rules. Greg, but you, I said, you just was... learned about them. I did. But I learned I about think... them and I applied them. <laughs> Good job. When you got eighty, then you eighty have to. exactly. And I think I have an obscure movie that nobody will get. Yeah, I think that was a good one. This, this one is a it's a, it's an old. Can you think one. of another one, Vincent? You know that we can uh, just, just remember. Um, low score goes first, right? So was that this team? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, geez, yeah, I'm very much so. We are well, we, very we lost, we lost two of our people, right? So oh, and we'll then we, lost, we even lost Vincent after a while. Oh, we kept losing Vincent. I've I've yeah. let him in. Uh, Sometimes it was just time. Kat and I sitting here. It's like a revolt. Oh, you probably had a blast. What are you talking about? You probably oh, yeah. some, but it's shared Tierra tips and stuff. <laughs> we didn't have time for Tierra tips. <laughs> tips. Tips. Yeah. How best to clean your Tierra. <laughs> I do you've, you've got your 10 all sorted. Yeah. You're going to be happy with them. You're going to take out some other teams oh, and do it all so. strategic. I hope so. I, we did the strategic thing of we're going to do the real common ones because nobody else will. And we couldn't <laughs> think of anything else. And we couldn't think of anything else, which is probably what everybody else did, but oh well. <laughs> well, I just realized my list is slightly not in alphabetical order. So Ooh, that's going to be tough. Yeah. Hopefully people will bear with me. Can you load it into like an Excel document quickly and then it is an Excel, but oh, you should be able to alphabetize it then easily. I, I tried, but some of them it's like a number or it starts with. Uh, well, I should like, still do it, and, and the numbers will just come first, so that's okay. Yeah, yeah, but like when I'm gonna look for it in the list, I I gotta remember to look at the top. Don't look for words. Mm. Just put the list into the uh, into the chat for us to look at, and we can just know. Oh, <laughs> oh! I like that because you're gonna get us to. Oh yeah, so you're gonna. This get is like 86 numbers. things. The, the chat. I'd be like, and here's six more, and mm -hmm. here's six more. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That more. would be terrible. Yeah, yeah. That would be terrible. No, 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 no. You put the link to the thing. Oh, no. it's just in my but, Google Drive. But because it's uh, mono rules, we can't do it that way. So because it's mono rules, yeah. I get to make sure that nobody does doubles. Yep, I love that. Enjoy it, Kat. Enjoy your power. I'll try. <laughs> I hope I don't lose power with the weather. Oh, yeah. Is it? All right. So here we go with our. Can... Ron, did you have 10? I have 10. Okay. Okay. Can, can... Keanu. Ugh. Special oh, yes. guest now pairing Keanu Reeves. Okay. All right. <laughs> so fish. we're going to start off with. Team five, which would be four hot women and maybe Vincent. And I want Vincent one representative proud. from our team, and it will not be me, who is going to read off. Well, I guess that leaves me. Oh, I guess, Vincent, you could do it. Do you have them written down? You may not have them all written down. I didn't write down anything. I, okay. I, okay. I so I didn't write them yeah. down. So we want one, one, you guys paying attention? One representative from each team to let Adrian, no, if you also have that on there. And don't everybody go, ooh, ooh, or whatever. <laughs> uh, we also have to mark it on a very large spreadsheet. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's more fun to yell it out so I can So, Ben, you're going to do it for our team since you had it written down, right? Ben's on mute. Ben? ben? Yeah, yeah sorry. I, I had okay, to so mute. everybody's got a representative? Uh. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Adrian. I will, I will start. Slowly. Matrix. Thank you, Faith. We have that. Crossed off. What was it? The Matrix. Just made the Matrix, you know, the original. The first one. Do you have first the one. do you have the article V in it? Yep. Norman. <laughs> Bill, are you the one spokesman for your team? No, I just well, then I'm gonna put you on mute. Matrix reloaded. We have Got that. Out of that one. Matrix Resurrection. We have oh, it's Matrix Resurrections. Do you have the S? No. But and I may have just forgotten it because my husband told me that one. <laughs> what do you think, Kat? I think it's the same movie, so it doesn't count for either okay. one of you. Sadly. Knock knock. Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has it. Piano. Piano who? Yeah. Wait, there's a, there's that, a, there's a movie never even called heard Knock of that Knock. Movie. I didn't see that one on there. Yeah, there is a movie called Knock Knock. And it's, it's, it's not that good. And that's it lacks energy. That's, my husband, <laughs> right now. that's my husband paying attention to Cat when we got together. All right. Okay. The River. The River? Is it not one of them? The River? No. Oh. Is it River? Oh. 
crap. The river? Yeah. Unless I'm missing something huge. Uh, you sure you're not thinking of Kevin Bacon? Probably. Ooh. No, not, no, not Kevin Bacon. It's um, no, no, no. I know the movie that you mean, but I won't say it because mono rules. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Nobody else. Nobody. Ch okay, so something like that. All right, my own private Idaho. That yeah. one. Yes, we have it. Oh no! Really? Oh, we were thinking nobody else would have that one. Likewise, so did we? <laughs> oh, you're impossible, you people. It was in the film. Not festival. so private, apparently. Ah, John Wick. Yes, we have it. Well, no, no. no we, we don't. don't have that. We don't have just John mm. Wick. So we have the third movie. Okay, we got the first movie. Mm. Is that what it's called, Cat? Just John it Wick. Called John Wick. Thank you. What's wrong with Gilbert G Grape? We have no idea if that's actually a Keanu. My God, that's not even him. <laughs> that's not the name <laughs> of the movie. <laughs> the name of the movie was eating Gilbert, Gilbert Grape. Grape, and Keanu Reeves was not in that movie. All right. Other than that, it was perfect. Speed. <laughs> what is it? Speed. Yes, we have. It. No. No, we took it oh, off. Oh no, we took it off. It. We don't have it. Our strategy works for once. Wow, you guys are picking right? the... Stop. Speed's good. She wants. Okay, didn't we have speed? No, we took that off and replaced it with something else. Uh, speed 2. He was you not in Speed 2. Jack oh, no. not that will take people. care of telling people the correct answers. Yes, All right, people. That's it. We're done. Okay, so, so Adrian, what was the yeah. score for Four Hot Women and maybe Vincent? Three. Three. Okay, so we're going to move on to, we don't need more time. So remember, you guys know, just, it's hard to hear if, if it's there or not. So try to, try to mute yourselves. So who's the representative for team four? We don't need more time. Moi. Ready for it? Ready. Toy Story 4. He was in that. The Lake House. So, so wait a minute. We Got didn't it. put that. We didn't put that down because you wrote it. Appears in. He did yeah. not appear in Toy Story Four. He did voice acting voice, in it, uh, which is not appearing. <laughs> His voice All right, appeared. Rob, that's not going to count. I can't it argue is. against okay. what Rob is saying. Okay, go ahead, Ron. Okay, the Lake House. Got it. Lake. Uh, the replacements. Did I did I hear anything? We got we got the lake house. Did we say that? Did somebody say yes, that? Uh, yes, yes. Taking it. care of it, Rob. Thank you. The replacements. Yes, he was in that. Did did anybody else say it? I didn't hear anything. I'll take that as a no. Bill and Ted's bogus journey. We have that one. Yeah, we have it too. Okay. Uh, the day the earth stood still. And we have that. We took it off. Did we? No, we didn't. Mm -hmm. No, we didn't. One okay. person from each team, you guys. Come on. Is the official spokesperson in or out? He was in the movie. Out. Well, I got that part, but is it on an official list? Gail, do you have it on your list? No, we took it out. Okay. Point we break. We have that. Uh, we did not put that. Okay. Uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. We put that. A walk in the clouds. We have that. The devil's advocate. Oh, we have that. As well. uh, we have that. <laughs> and sweet November. Oh, we do not. Mm. Okay, so how many points is that for you? Four. Ooh, very well. Mono rules with four is very good. Okay, so Mexico sends its criminals to the U.S. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Nobody the did. Matrix Revolution. No. We took both of those off our list. And no one has this one. Babes in Toyland. <laughs> I told wow. you it was his. <laughs> it's the best Christmas movie ever. <laughs> and I missed okay. off one list. of those off, off my list. list. So Mexico sends its criminals to U.S. How many points do you have? Three. Huh. What was your second one? I didn't mark it off my list. Uh, Matrix Revolutions. That's it. Thank okay. you. So get well, Mark. We have um, something's got to give. Mm -hmm. 
loved him as Dr. Julian. Uh, Bill and Ted faced the music. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, even cowgirls get the blues. Yes, we had it. <gasps> um, Parenthood. <gasps> yeah, that's right. Wow. Um, Johnny Mnemonic. Mm -hmm. I think cats gonna cry. Um, <laughs> Constantine. So proud of what was that one? Constantine. Constantine. Oh, we took that one off, so that's good. We didn't get it. We didn't have it. And that's what was left of our list. Okay, so how many points is that for you guys? We got five. Nice. Dang. Wow. All right. So, but he didn't address the sharks and batteries. <laughs> <laughs> we had much ado about nothing. Yep. Hmm. John Wick 3 Parabellum. Did you just say that? John Wick 3 Parabellum. I'll accept, but the full title is John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. Uh. <laughs> speed, speed 2 Cruise Control. It was not in Speed 2. Okay. And Keanu. He was in Keanu. <laughs> Way to go Ruby for the Clay. obvious. <laughs> okay, he so that's how many uh, Gail we had, had one more Gail. Mm -hmm. We had Bram Stoker's Dracula. That's I guess that's already somebody had that. Yeah, I already I'm sorry. had that. So Gail had three. Three. Look wow. at how much you all know about him. I so know proud. zip. That was just so weird because I didn't. Have you not seen that. any of those movies, Susan? I saw Matrix. I hated it, and John Wick's is is. Uh, I haven't seen any of those. I haven't seen any of those either. I mean, nothing. I mean, nothing Cat, was, one, yeah. Cat, was he in Young? Was he in Young Blood? Yes, he was in Young Bloods. That was his first major movie. <laughs> He was also in Dangerous Liaison. Oh. Nobody picked that. Nobody picked DC League of Super Pets. So what was the river one that was supposed to be it's the full called name? The River's Edge. Oh, God. Wasn't that one of his first movies when he was a kid? It. Uh, he, well, he was young. He wasn't yeah, a kid, yeah. but yes. Yeah. Well, kid, kid compared to God, I, I'm just really like nothing here. Um, you know, my part of the problem, besides the fact that I rarely watch anything, is that if it's a really good movie, I'm not paying any attention to who the actors are. They they're they're the character to me. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even know their names. I it wouldn't even dawn on me to know their names. If I recognize the character as an actor, then the movie's ruined. If I if I'm watching a movie and I'm, uh, oh look it, that's David Suchet. Look at him. You know, then it's like he see, broke, I'm, he broke I'm the fourth wall for me. Even if I know who they are, I can still see them as different characters. And then also, if it's an actor I like, then I want to see other things that they've been in. Yeah, people because tell I me know that, they're a good actor. I think I'm unusual in that way because most people will follow a care an actor or a producer or director or whatever. And I, I've I've never been. Ne Netflix that. even has its algorithm that way, right? If you call up on the screen and they'll say also in and they'll show you all the movies this person is in yeah, that you can i think that's right normal there. for people they like somebody they they watch them in other things well done okay. Kat. Kat, yeah, Kat, well done, Kat. A good job uh, of the yes. model roles how how many animated movies did he do oh i'd have to check but there's toy story 4 there is Spun i saw Bob. toy story 4 yeah he's he was, asking he how was many the, animated there were he was yeah he was spongebob the, the, movie sponge on the run which um, one was he in toy story 4 He's he was Duke Kaboom. Guy. He was um, the guy he, who drove the Cat, did, he appear, did he appear in those? Well, his voice was He appeared in the, in the studio to do the voiceover. There you go. He was in the Animatrix. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so oh, here's yeah, your yeah. scores, you guys. Yep. 23, and the winning team is at 38, and that's, but he didn't address the sharks and the butterflies. Woohoo! So, but, but they only won by a little bit, like three points here, and just very close. It was just Sorry, except for us five. good That's job fine. team two yeah, except for us we lost my team it mm. looks like probably four animated movies oh. is your answer 
Good. We'll never have to do Keanu Reeves again. Oh, no. I'll oh, share really? you. I have yeah. lots more. If you volunteer me, I will make you do Keanu Reeves stuff. <laughs> name 10 movies that Keanu Reeves was not in. Name the characters in the movie, Susan. You, know, that, you said you like the characters. So you'll, you'll love well, it's some guy named John Wick. Yeah, yeah. It's somebody <laughs> who's named Dino or something. There was a long name. How, how about in the Matrix? So among yeah. us, who's got the lowest bacon no number? <laughs> I I wouldn't be able to pick out bacon on a on a on a Sunday brunch. The lowest with Keanu? No, with uh, oh, Kevin, Kevin Bacon. 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 Kevin yeah, Bacon. But 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 you mean three steps to Keanu? No. No. Oh, Bacon. I have three. Uh, us us anyone in this group steps to Kevin. My no, my I personal my personal bacon number is two. I I have no idea, so I'm guessing probably twelve or fifteen. Well, Cat had a Canadian bacon number. That's right. <laughs> I'd have to know if Rick Moranis did anything That's with good. Kevin Bacon first. I don't know anybody. Oh, I lie. He was also in a Scanner Darkly, so that's five. If you count oh. Scanner Darkly as an animal. I had a dream yeah, about that... Hillary. I had a dream last night about Hillary Clinton. I had her keys. Well, you one, time, her keys? <laughs> one time when we were doing trivia in the room, Keanu came over. Was, no, it was. Um, the guy who played Ferris Bueller, Matthew uh, Broderick. Broderick. Matthew Broderick. Yeah. My friend Vanessa is, knows him. That's pretty cool beans. Yeah. She was playing trivia one night and he was behind her and he was like helping her, but he didn't want to be on screen. Mm. And I said, get your, uh, get his wife, Sarah Jessica Parker. And she said, she is wicked smart. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised oh. to hear that. Oh, he is too. Is he? Yeah. yeah. They're both very, very smart. So um, I guess that's it. Um, we we ended early. I, I'm guessing week, I still am running next week. week. I'm running next week. Yes, please do. So I, I will. Unless, I will really be Susan Gerbeck next week. Yeah, unless unless something awful happens, I will be out of town. And you've got all slots filled up for next week, right? Mm, yeah, I think I actually do. And the week after that, it's going to be Rob Rob, oh, Rob, 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 Rob. Well, I was inspired by Cats. Um, Number bonus now, so you guys kind of know what mine's going to be next week. <laughs> Billy Joel songs. Mono Ooh, rules. Mono <laughs> rules. Oh, 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 Billy oh, Joel. Better get on it now. <laughs> <laughs> or Kevin Bacon. I, I actually might be able to do that because I was a huge Billy Joel fan, and I went to see him live twice while I was in university. Twice. I'm up to forty but, now. Yeah, but hey, <laughs> I, you know, I, you live close by. I mean, right. He's, does something every month. I don't live so close. So I, no. I've only Next, seen um, the end of this month is the last MSG show. Yes, I heard that he was stopping thousand dollar seats. No, no, I'm not going on that one. Wow. I, I think I've told this story before, but when I saw him and he played We Didn't Start the Fire, he had all the lyrics laid out on the floor in front of him because he didn't know the lyrics. And he told <laughs> the people in the front row, don't touch these. Because if you mess this up, it's going to be a train wreck. Because I don't know the lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> and as he and finished the page, he, he mess it up. He to says, somebody in the crowd so they could have it as a souvenir. Oh, oh that's when awesome. He, when he does uh, mess it up, he says, "You just witnessed a real rock and roll fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Authentic rock and roll fuck up." Yeah, well, I'm just kind bad. of laughing that nobody picked. Like you picked John Wick and you picked John Wick Three Parabellum, but nobody picked two or four. Hmm. Why I couldn't not? remember the names of them. That's why. Yeah, we're just an odd group, is all. <laughs> we don't do even really numbers. difficult like names. Star Trek. We don't do start. We don't do even number movies. It's John Wick Chapter Two, and John Wick Chapter Four. Oh, that's it. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh -huh. Now we know. But now you know, Cat. If people thought of it, they probably were thinking, "Oh, what goes with it?" I'm forgetting what goes with it because yeah, Parabellum went with three. That's right. But nothing went with the others. So that's an interesting piece of trivia that I'll never use again. That's right. <laughs> just like the unlike all the other trivia round. we have, Good night, Alan. <laughs> just just like anything about Good Billy Joel, right? Be fair. <laughs> yep. yeah, I'm heading out to. Good night, Bill. Good night, well, how do we do it so good, good this week? See you, Adrian. Yeah, like yeah. nice, nice to be on your team. We even sing song to Wendy. Yeah. I think we I, didn't have I, a lot of. Uh, um, oh, we tried to do announcements with uh, Skeptic Zone. I enjoyed being on your team, Rob. Cindy, I was getting dinner Dan. at the time. Oh, joined with you, Cat knows. 
yeah, I could have done it. I just. I mentioned to Carolyn that we were giving her a shout out. So yeah, and you we'll mentioned know we're going to be on the Zoom this stuff, week, didn't you? What's that? I thought they mentioned something else. Oh, we're 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 doing. Kat and I got together to do a bit about the love language. <laughs> Ouch! Go wow wow. That was Kat. Cat came up with that. I came up with the other one, but the cat ran with it and excluded me. <laughs> you told me to <laughs> yes true you said hey how about i do this and i went fine okay then i don't have to okay <laughs> and i said do you want to be part of it or do you want to go in blind and you said yep. go in blind so. and i went in blind hey, it was you know what? since i've got you guys here uh -huh. let me ask you a question because you guys came up with some good ideas i've got to do that trivia thing and i really didn't look at it you guys gave me some ideas mm -hmm. so so if I'm in Cyclone, um, if I get to New York next week, mm -hmm. then I have an hour trivia I have to do for mm -hmm. CFI. And I to do an hour, which is going to be ridiculous, mm -hmm. I thought I'd do five questions per round and do, do a scattering of questions. So. You want to do one of my favorite rounds that I did? No, like, I wanted to be skeptical, science oh, okay. kind of related. So uh, Adrian gave me a couple, and I think Rob said gave me a couple too, but is there anything that um why not why do you need to do five rounds why don't you just do if it's an hour do two three or rounds. three rounds of 10 three rounds of 10 yeah mm. at the most I, mean, I could do that yeah i mean it, and are you doing it with pen and paper yeah how are you doing it okay that works really well and talk to me because that's how i did it with we can reason for two years in a row and it worked very well and mm -hmm. i did it an hour and a half and we did last year it was um Four category four, and this year it was three, and I was able to finish it in an hour. And you so, had a special score sheet or no? Yeah, yeah. I just had a I had a spreadsheet that was up on projected up on a screen, and in the last year I didn't even have that because there was it wasn't available, and we just said come up to the computer and look at the uh, at how you did, and I announced the winners. That was it. I think I'm just gonna keep it on a paper I, I don't think yeah. i need anything formal it's no, informal it's, it's very easy yeah you don't yeah. have to do anything too special do that. Uh, so and it's nice, it's nice to have uh the answers sort of as a handout i did not have a chance to do that because the band went on for too long so i never got to go over the answers and i didn't have a handout last year i did it was much better so have a handout with the answers so people can look it up after they've handed it in and they can see how they did okay so what i need to do i really wanted to, to do something unique because I want to show that our trivia that we do mm -hmm. is different from like a bar trivia, mm -hmm. or something like that. And that's kind of why I think I wanted to do five rounds with five questions only because I got more, it'd be easier for me to choose a variety of us. But you could just say, this is a, a, a snapshot. You could do two plus a bonus. I was Can thinking of the bonus to be doing the Psycon with the um, monorails just to be, or the fellows. Just I love be, that. I love that idea. Just to be yeah. evil. Yeah, I think the fellows would make more sense. Yeah, I love PowerPoints. Great. No, I'm not going to use any kind of screens. Okay, no, just keep it simple. I'm make it very simple. And and uh, yeah, just if you need uh, how I did it, because one of the issues with, with We Can Reason is it's a pub night and people walk in at different times. So some people are still coming after work and they can't get there till eight. So I had a staggering of people. Some people came early and they would start right away, and uh, it worked really really well if it was pen and paper. Okay, so what if I only pick two? Mm -hmm. Which cat? Which do you guys think I should do? That's my UFO category. <laughs> I don't what know if I could be impartial. Yeah, <laughs> you've got a lot. No, Kevin, you Those did, are amazing. Kevin, but you did you did visual? I don't want to do anything visual. Yeah. Okay. And I, and, and I did. Uh, I I mean, you could just use my ones that I've done over the past two years. At were they skeptical reason. related? There, uh, I have three, three uh, skeptical related, and they've been tried, and they were really people liked it, and they're not that straightforward. I don't think that uh, Kenny would necessarily do well. Oh yeah, you got to remember Kenny Bills. I don't have anything skeptical. My very first category was all space related stuff. 
so I made a point first for Week and Reason to make sure they were of a skeptical nature. So we always had a religious category and then we had two religious, two skeptic. And this year it was two skeptic or maybe it was, I think, James Fell related. There was to that. a Star Wars this year? We did a Star Wars. Yeah. Um, well, and then a skeptic. Adrian and, a and yeah. Carl, okay. you both have access to the spreadsheet. Could you just highlight the one that if whatever you how about i just send it to you because it's the, it, it's not yeah, send me yours yeah but carl could you highlight the one that you're thinking of that or whatever because that way i can yeah okay i'm gonna be, be leaving bye bye bye, bye. bye. the favorite bye. the favorite ones that that i did personally that i like was the imagine song and the uh, american pie song and when rob did uh, only a good die young i thought that was a pretty good one yeah, I like those mystery religious. categories where it's a song like that. That Oh, I'm sad I missed the Imagine one. That would have been great. That was I remember that one. That was really good. Yes, that was one of my better ones. Or yeah. Somebody did. Which one which one would be the best if I was to pick a mystery category? I'm you know, I asked them, do I only have an hour? And they're like, Well, you could go <laughs> a little bit later. So the, I um, Rob's Only the Good Die Young one was pretty good because it was a random one, but it all had the lyrics from Only the Good Die Young and it was a religious theme in there too. Which, that was a which week was that? Does anybody know? I don't remember. Rob has it though because he what did it. What would be the keyword I would use to search? Only the good... Rob, you're on mute. Mystery was, theme I, I enjoyed all, it. It's mystery theme Only the Good Die Young is the way I wrote it. I don't know if that's what you wrote. Only the good not coming up yeah these uh, these i think would be good i don't think kenny would know all these there's no way here's one of my all-time favorite questions which one in the chat <laughs> oh that's terrible <laughs> i know the and answer, the answer. That uh Okay, the, the Paul Eight Austers the famous Earth Race photo claims to have an unrecorded world record on that same mission for the longest distance travel. Oh, he didn't go poo poo. Nope he, he he said he took one le look at the fecal containment device said and said that. he wanted nothing to do with it. Yeah, I said he didn't go poo poo, and you said no. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, no, he didn't take a crap. Yeah. Yes, he did not take a crap. What category was that in? That was uh, my very first category called Space Oddities. Ooh. So do you want to hear some of the ones that I have here, Susan? Yeah, or... let's see. Okay. So I have, the first one is, two NHL teams are named after mythical creatures. Name one of them. Jersey Devils. Yeah. Seattle Kraken. Yeah. <laughs> In Australia, there is a hoax cryptid that is present in contemporary folklore that is a large, vicious marsupial with in, that inhabits treetops and attacks unsuspecting people that walk beneath them and drop That's on their neck. drop bear. Yep. The Ogopogo is a lake monster that is said to live in Okanagan Lake in British Columbia and has origins in First Nation folklore. According to skeptical investigators, Bed Radford and Joe Nickel, the most likely explanation for the sightings of this monster is what? Pieces. Okay, what? so I, I I found I found my uh, only the good die young. It's from January twenty January twenty sixth, twenty twenty three. Can you give me the uh, oh, line five nine nine zero in your spreadsheet? Okay. So I have the Loch Ness monster. I have um, a block of ice uh, about the Tex uh, talk Texas man. Uh, so I've got all kinds of stuff that I I don't know if Kenny knows about NHL hockey. He hates sports, so I'm. Yeah. I'm you know. I can't get five nine nine zero to come up. So give me a keyword to find. All right, I just typed in only the good die young. How just can you were able to pull it up and I can't? I just what are you talking? Oh, there about? it is. Oh, you wrote it in there. there I just it. wrote it in. Yeah. Okay. And mine's all pretty too, so you can print it out right away. You guys are just making this hard. <laughs> How am I supposed well. to choose what to pick? Well. 
Yeah, so regarding how many you're going to do, go you back and demand three hours. You have to realize that, like, normally these games go four hours ish. So if you only cut half of it out, you're still up to two hours. So you got to think about that. Like, you were just going to do the same number of categories and half the question. So you're only cutting half the time out. I mean, that's not going well, to do what we wouldn't want. do it now. Oh, God, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But I know I mine, have been, mine have been done. I've actually tested them in a situation like you're talking about. I think that's the Are you going to send it to me? I am. I'm just, I'm creating a folder for you. I'm just still shocked that we were done by around 1130. Yeah. Our time. What happened? Uh, I don't know. Somebody with a very strange name wants to know if they can join our trivia game. Precious cloth full of Polly. He's not even sure, a Facebook friend. What the hell? Oh, he is a Facebook friend. World humanist. No, no, you're not joining. I don't, I don't. Yeah. Um. Of course, he's still making a sex gymnastics. Says we're done. Right. Um, yeah. But they could be from another time zone and just not know. So let me let me end the recording so I can tell you something. You should have been here, people, if you wanted to hear.